dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, we'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, a bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. in the sea and dead men in the sand old salt marsh sleeps while its enemies plan best batten down your hatches there's a storm near at hand oh, we should have stayed on land oh we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song we'll roll the old dice and sing a song cause it's the end in time yar 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 Last time on Missed Opportunities, Ghosts of Saltmarsh, our intrepid party delved deep beneath the ruins on the Isle of the Abbey into the winding way, a threatening series of passageways constructed almost like a maze filled with traps and other dangers and all dedicated to the evil goddess of the sea, Umberly. Upon... Uh, after thwarting many of the traps, succeeding in a few combats, they finally made their way to what they assumed to be the treasure room. An enormous statue constructed of solid jade gestured down to a pool of water, black and opaque. The party could not see through it, but Sarayan remembered a voice calling out to her in a dream. And despite the party's protesting, reached in and pulled forth a mighty weapon. It was at that time that the statue came to life and pointed a finger at her. And uh, necrotic energy shot out from that finger, leaving Sarayan laying lifeless on the ground. A, min a few moments later, she sprung back to life only after promising the trite the um uh yeah promising the triton that it did indeed serve a uh well serve persona then something a little more grotesque occurred as the statue reached on top of its own head its facial features growing um sinister and gaunt long fangs appearing from the mouth and then it pulled off its own head from its shoulders reaching its sever own severed head forward to the group and started marching forward its own large jade triton in hand and my friends to begin this session let us roll some initiative I mean, I just have to say, like, we've all been there, right? When we've detached our oh. own head and walked towards a group of people. No, just me? Okay. Oh, oh, that's you know, how I concerning, Liz. Do we, need, do we need to have to talk later? I love oh, that's, that's Darkest Dungeon. Red so good. Well, I rolled a natural one on initiative, so that's a great start for the night. Yikes. Hey, we tied. Yikey poo. This is the music for the um, Sunken Crew. Mm-hmm. All right. But I won't call out the music sources. And <laughs> I believe we discussed it briefly at the end of last session, but that was a long time ago. I remind you, Liz, that your dying and coming to life is happening during this first round. <laughs> All right. Your renaissance, One, two, three, four, as it were. Five, the Renaissance. Lucky, I rolled a natural 20 on my initiative. Dang it, or Peter. Rather, the headless statue did. And I have multiple targets in front of me, so it will. Oh, we've got a giant Why are there multiple the <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I was about to mention that. I forgot. Um, so the giant one is going to need to be the one that is shrunk and then yep. that I use. So. I fixed it, I believe. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right, so Sarayan seems to not be a threat, and we will move forward in range of all of my friends here. Um... And who are we going to reach out and attack? Let's roll a, let's roll a d6. Great. One and two is going to be Melvin. Oh. Three and four is going to be Mariah. And five and six is going to be Priya. Mariah, I rolled a three. The I head fucking knew out. that you were going to do that. Damn it. Okay. It reaches out towards you. All right. Yes. I'm going to take like a natural Peter. one for <laughs> you to not hit me. <laughs> it's like friggin' it's, thrilled. Yeah, I feel like it's reasonable. Um, I have a 25 to hit, which is a natural 19. Sure. Um, yeah. 11 <laughs> points of piercing damage. Okay. And okay. you feel the, um, that the blood in your veins seems want to just flow out into the mouth of this creature. It, it's mm. uh, disturbing how quickly you bleed after it. You feel a curse setting into your body after its bite. And then we've got um. two more attacks, so we will attack. Um, let's attack Melvin and let's attack Rion with the um, well, claws with its triton. So, um, do you have, uh, is the Melvin, minus two to initiative still in effect? Uh, that is for for the effect of the wandering way, winding I way. I believe I thought we were. Um, I thought we had rolled a AC. six for that, right? I thought it switched to the one where um, half healing oh, half was healing. now in effect. Okay. Just yes. wanted to make sure I know what the effect is. Oh, half healing? Okay. Whew, yes. Geez. Well, that's a relief. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> could, could we get a, uh, a a reminder about the uh, full text of yes. that? So there are effects happening down under this place that sort of um, embody the cruelty of Umberly in um, some nasty ways. Um, the party is also in possession of a, an item that can change that or make it only happen to them or only happen to their enemies. But that item may potentially come with a cost upon its use. So the one in effect that we rolled at the beginning of the combat last time is called um, the, well, I should say there are bas reliefs or carvings on all of the walls completely surrounding this place and they tend to shift occasionally and the image that revealed itself was titled the queen of the depths keeps each painful trinket and the description was the sun rises above the waters on the bas relief and a sunken or, and a scene at a city's dock is revealed. A dozen sailors depart their man of war. Some limp on crutches, some are carried out on cots, yet all of them are calling for healing from the clergy. None are to be found. Their hands will not be regrown, nor their legs fixed straight again. Hooked hands and peg legs will be their share. All creatures receive half healing from healing effects while this is in effect. So that is what is taking place right now. Okay. So uh, the other, so the two attacks I had, uh, 14 versus Melvin, is not hit, and a 17 against Prion, I believe, misses. Okay, that is the end of its turn. Miss having a high AC. I know. Melvin, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, well. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, um, well... Melvin, do something! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna bonus action summon a quill and... Um, Not that! <laughs> and fire off a, 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 a magic missile at it. Um, so that'll be... Uh, 
way more than that, but that's fine. Um, the first dart, I guess, will deal five damage. I'm just doing this at level one, so three darts all at it. Um, and I've got five from the first dart, and uh, two from the second, and three from the third. That's all force damage. Okay, what's the total? So ten. Ten. Okay. The force damage seems very effective against it, as it knocks off a couple chunks of armor from this creature that shatter onto the ground. Um, and then I'm going to risk moving away, I think. Mm, no, actually, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. <laughs> um, That'll be good. my turn. At the end of your turn, it is going to try to make a bite attack against you as a legendary action. I have a 17. Sorry, you're muted. Am I able to cast shield given that I've just cast a leveled spell? Yeah. Okay, cool. I will cast Reaction. shield. Alrighty. Um, to make then that it, miss. The, um, the long sort of arm of this woman reaches out, carrying its own head, jaws wide, ready to um, uh, s snap shut on you, but you summon a barrier of energy to deflect it. Sarayan, you awaken at the end of your turn, <gasps> gasping for breath with the voice in your head. Um, sing, it says, um, Persona's will is mine as well. But that is, you are now awake, you are stable with, um, and you have been restored to your full hit points as well. What? Yes, yep. not with just one. Nether. Uh, Nether um, puts her hands together and a ball of seawater forms in him and she throws it out and it lands in a big puddle in front of Moriah and Melvin. And as she does it, she says, Tuatha tell Nwanda Tuatha. And she summons Gadrozel the beaver again. All right. We mark that spell as cast, and here goes the beaver. Beaver. Leave it to beaver, am I right? Um, <laughs> and then um, Dahl goes flying up into the air. Um, as She will bonus action use Dahl to make a attack. Dahl will fire an arrow, hitting AC 16. Okay, uh, 16 will hit. One point of piercing damage. All right. Um, I would, I'm assuming it's immune to poison. Um, uh, I will say the poison does not seem to have any effect. Oh, fair enough. All right, okay. it would have to make a constitution saving throw versus poison. Yeah, it little... seems to save against the poison. <laughs> Figured, so a little poink. But it was otherwise it would be a wasted bonus action. So bonus action done, and now it is Gadrazel's turn. Uh, Gadrazel will, let's see here. Will roll to attack with the short sword. Uh, with advantage because of um, his fuming. Mm -hmm. So there's a four. Uh, roll him again. Least, that was at the six. Well, that's certain. Damn it! I just don't know what to roll on, what to click on on roll twenty for this. It just amazing. For counts. your attack, use your spell attack. It should be right. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Public <laughs> roll. So at advantage, I am hitting AC sixteen. Hits. I will go ahead and use that damage. So that's four points plus um, my charisma modifier plus the level of the spell plus. Uh, Double check there. It's more than that. It is. Sure, I one six plus three plus the spells level, so it's four. So seven, and the spells level is three. So ten points total. Extra of three. This. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. And that is, that is my done. turn done. Alrighty. And at the end of your turn, who has hurt now? Well, Fortunately, Melvin, you have hurt me most. I am going to make another attack to try to bite you again. With a 24. 
seven points of piercing if that gets through and you feel the same curse begin to flow through your body. And it is Talisa's turn. Ow. You see this, pardon? Ow. <laughs> Come uh, I guess walk through the door. <laughs> see that. Good start. Um, I know, right? Uh, then I'm gonna come up behind Creon and I want to give him guidance. Have some guidance, bro. And then... So guidance is, is, is used for skill checks, if they're doing that. I thought that. I could do that also for... Can't I have him put the, the, the next roll towards his attack as well? That would be Bless, which bless. is the leveled spell Bless. <laughs> Oh, I did not say that on the microphone. And I wrote down the wrong spell. Shush! Shush, Jane, shush. And that's the word I meant to write there down. There you go. And you get two other targets for bless. Who do you want to bless along with? Um... Uh, I want that to be Melvin and uh, Sarayan. And I'm Ooh. absolutely hiding behind Priyon. Okay. Sounds good. Anything else for you, Talise? Nope. All right. Before Prion's turn, the vampiric jade statue uses this last legendary action to <gasps> open its mouth and this sort of hollow inhalation sound <gasps> starts to happen and you see the blood <clears throat> from Melvin and from Mariah just start to leap out of the wounds. Even though there weren't arterial bleeds, the blood just wants to fly towards this creature and you both take five points of necrotic damage Yay. from its Blood Reaper ability. Blood once with the blood once. Damn. Okay. Mm. Melvin. I'm. Breon. Uh, can I step over the, this thing? Um, the water has cleared. It's difficult terrain, but you can step five, into it. 10, 15, 25. So that's 30, yeah? 5, 10, 15, I wanna go, 20, I wanna 25. Go you have five, five. Cool. Um, yeah, you can hop down on the other side there. Okay. Um, my friend comes down and swings in and flies away. Da, da, da. Oh my God. Uh, Thirteen, fourteen, flanking. There we we do flanking on on Monday nights. Not. Oh well, I wouldn't have moved that in. Okay, it don't matter. Uh, um, thirteen, then that would have been missed. Spreading out the battlefield anyway. Yes, unfortunately, thirteen does miss. How did I miss with that? Uh, oh, second attack. Yeah. You're used to playing a rogue for the last yeah. couple of weeks. You get to do this more than once. Uh, sixteen plus bless. That'll do it. Uh, 10 slashing. 10 slashing. All right. That's DM. Yeah. I hate to jump in here real quick, but one of the other things, in addition to the short sword attack, which I'll probably reflavor to something else, a little more beaver like, um, but uh, I also do a d6 of force damage. One point of force damage on top of what I did before. Ah, okay. So sorry. It is fine. So, so 10 points, anything else? Bonus acts or anything like that, Prion? Uh, nope. Mariah. Can't do anything else. Oh, boy. I do not appreciate being where I am right now. Um, I am going to, uh, with a short uh, piercing whistle and a sort of shimmer of purplish smoke, I'm going to reappear behind Nether as I cast Misty Step. Okay. Um, and then woof. <laughs> I don't wolf. know if anything I have in my kit is useful. <laughs> um, you're okay. I'm going to, um, 
gonna t tap Nether on the back. Hey, I'm behind you now. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, hey, uh, shoot, like, right this way. And I'm just gonna kind of, like, position her body towards the creature uh, and take a help action for Nether. Okay. Um, so the rogue, I believe the mastermind rogue is the only one who can do a ranged help action. It, I'm behind her now. Like, I'm... Oh, but you would have to be five feet. Oh, of the I totally misunderstood. Then, then I'm not going to do that. It's okay. Um, you could step forward. Uh, honestly, I'm you, not going to step, step next to it. Well, it, okay. Like I'm, I'm um, going to die. <laughs> just so you know, um, Doll, uh, because I have my familiar up flying around and already. Oh, is he even in the room? I didn't realize yeah. he was still up. Oh, okay, yep. then, still up. then scratch that. Um, but I great idea, otherwise. Um, well, then I'll just do Vicious Mockery. Make me a wisdom save. Okay. Wisdom. You have really bad dental hygiene. <laughs> Turns its head towards you. You're not you as cool as looks. turquoise. I have failed with a five. Ooh. Wow. Shittiest roll. Hey, take two psychic damage. Um, All right, I'll take two psychic damage. And disadvantage on the next attack roll you make. Hmm. Um, and you know what? I'm just gonna back up even further. Just gonna, just gonna stay as far away as possible. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. I guess it's its turn now. Well, first, let's see who has who has caused me pain. Let's turn around. Let's try to bite Creon. Uh, I have a twenty. I have a natural right twenty and a natural uh, fourteen for a twenty. So I had some high rolls there. So you dodge the crit, but it's a twenty to hit. Oh, I got shield. Okay, shield is a reaction. It will wheel around and send its trident towards the beaver. Or a 22 to hit. Oh, that hits the beaver. 11 points of slashing <laughs> and then will go towards um, stabbing down towards Sarayan, whose life it has begun to sense once again. Uh... Uh, and there's another, uh, that is actually a critical hit as it stabs down <laughs> at you. Is it because I booed her? <laughs> yes, it is exactly like, that. Yeah, fuck you. Umberly does not take taunts kindly. Uh, 14 <laughs> points of slashing damage, so it could have been a lot worse. What is it, you yeah. tunt face? <laughs> and that is the end of its turn with those three attacks. Melvin. Uh, well, I think we need a little bit more power than that, and I'm going to um, use my quill and sort of whip it around my head and point it at her as I cast Tasha's Mind Whip at second level. Um, and a okay. long strand of ink is going to shoot out at her. I need a, an intelligence saving throw. DC 15. Okay. Um, she succeeds. Okay. Um, on a successful save, she takes half damage, which is, wow, I rolled not great either, but um, that'll be, what, three damage rounded down? Three points of psychic, yeah. <laughs> and um, that's it. Um My turn. <laughs> cool. Um, there's a bubble of energy protecting Prion. Um, gotten a little bit of taste of Serene's blood, so let's try to bite. At the end of your turn. Uh, 21 to bite on Serene for 11 points of piercing damage, if that indeed hits. And you feel the same curse take form in your body. Your blood is cold and wants to run out of your wounds. But it is your turn. OK. 
hit it. Okay. So, <laughs> I would like to. Um, so what I'm gonna do is wave is attuned to me, or I to it, correct? It has attuned to you, yes. Yeah. Um, so I will go ahead and use wave against this jade statue. Let's see. So I'm going to take the opportunity to get up and take a swing with wave. Go for it. And that was a... <laughs> We're a bunch of dum-dums. 16. 16's a hit. Ah. Exceedingly. Um, and so it is... <laughs> am I using it as a one-handed or a two-handed? Uh, that's up to you. Do you still have your shield on? Usually, I, I have always a shield, have right? my shield on. Yeah, so it would be the one-handed. Okay, um, and you get and then... extra damage from doing one-handed anyway. So, so, no. um, and then so I gain a plus three bonus. Did it take that into account? On I don't think I, I don't see it, yeah, it on there. Like I think you should have did. more than plus six here. I'm pulling up your character sheet real quick. It's got okay. plus um, five to damage on there. So, yeah, but that's because she's got dueling. Um, so on your character sheet, when you bring up the item wave, yep. if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's there's a little button that says a tune. Dope. Okay. Oh no, yep. I have to sneeze. I can feel it. <laughs> and I'll add, so I'll add another three damage. Um, it should work properly now. Okay. Oh no, oh beans. A tune, a tune, a tune. Yeah, a tune, yeah. Oh my god. Such an adorable ah. sneeze. That was my oh. best sneeze. Beans. So, there you oh go. No, that's farting. Ah. Sneezes like hay fever and stuff like that. Okay. Classy night. Classy night. So should I have just like added the three to I what I rolled previously? Yep, I added it to the damage. But attack again. Awesome. Oh, you have. Um, Singer. Uh, what's... That I, I don't know what happened there. Six plus three doesn't seem to be right. No, I hit something. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe roll another attack with wave. A silly billy move for me. Oh. Let's see. What that? 13. Plus bless. I believe bless. you are plus blessed. Plus bless. So I roll that cutie D4, baby. Bless. And it's a four. So 17. Burr, burr. That'll bump it up to a hit. So then 13 plus three? No, still. That, I think it's already doing it, it now. It. Yep, so adding plus eight to the damage, which yeah. is cool. very nice. Uh, very nice. And so then I would like to use my divine smite, baby. Okay. Smite, uh, smite, 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 smite. Um, so, let's see. Divine smite. Special. What level spell slot are you using? Oh, uh, let's just go ahead and go uh, go ham, and we'll use a second level spell slot because it's all I can use. So. Cool. It's the highest level I can use right now. So three d eight extra damage. Oh, get in here. <laughs> Uh, 19. Nice. Wow, and that's a good smite. Do I still get an extra attack because I have that capability? Or is have I expended all of my attacks? You've, You've used two attacks. Huh, beans. I was hoping that divine smite could just be like a little, a little extra. <laughs> it was a lot extra already. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Mighty, you, you a mighty attack. Like 45 damage. You, you're all right. But I could do <laughs> more. You're doing all right. And it will end in response. It is going to look towards you and look towards Melvin and use its Blood Reaper ability, and you each take five points of necrotic damage. Uh, Melvin goes down. Reaper. Melvin, no! no! I no. was going to say something yeah. sassy, but that's sad. <laughs> Not allowed. Bye! Bye. The oh, wizard no, <laughs> hits the ground. All right. Hot 
Let the wizards hit the floor. The wizards hit the floor. Alright. <laughs> Appropriate <laughs> band name for that for that this uh, particular campaign as well. So anyway, Nether. <laughs> Nether forms two balls of energy in her hands and <laughs> sends out two eldritch blasts. Uh, Blast. Here goes blast number one. Eldritch blast. Hitting AC nine. Blast number two. Blast. It's AC 17. Uh -huh. One point of force damage. Ooh, those are sad rolls. Yeah. Doll shoots. Um, she where is Doll? Way up, as far up in the top as she could paint. Um, just shooting little tiny arrows. Uh, doll has rolled a natural 20. <laughs> so wow. Damn, Doll. Doll hits, it does two points of piercing damage with a little tiny arrow. Um, and then, uh, uh, Nether, close, uh, she concentrates for a moment and you see after her turn ends, um, Gadrazel reach down and pick up the unconscious form of, uh, Melvin and begin to walk out. Can um, Gadrizel take the dodge action or the disengage action? Um, and and remove and remove not, them? Uh, that, I, I would say that's two actions. Picking All right. up, All right. so, picking uh, up the body use, of Melvin would be an action. Gadrizel uses his, his action to pick up Melvin and walks out of the room with him. Okay. Well, he will incur. Of course he will. Back of opportunity. Um, let's have that be a bite. A bite. Chomp, chomp, AC chomp. fourteen. Uh, that is going to be a miss, actually. Ooh. Fifteen Very is nice. the AC. Yeah. Is the AC of Gandrusel. Okay. He looks over his shoulder as the bite <laughs> comes down. And shows two big teeth as it tries to fend off the the bite. Mm -hmm. And deposits Melvin there on the floor. And then turns, gotcha. ready to run back into the fray. Next round, my turn is over. Okay. Uh, very good. Talis. Yay! Beaver rescue. I... Go me. I'm going to move my map. There we go. And then, so I'm moving up a little bit, so I get line of sight for our dear Melvin. Bonus action, healing word. That has to be first level only for the bonus action, right? No, it could be any like, level. Any level. Oh, okay. I thought I could. It's just half that. magic healing here. Because of the umberly shitty walls. <laughs> Those shitty, shitty walls, walls of umberly. Yeah. <laughs> umberly mean... shitty walls. <laughs> that bitch. The worst epic poem ever. Wait, that's oh, what I was okay. It's like a ballad. <laughs> shitty oh. walls of Umberly. <laughs> oh, you thought shitty walls of Umberly. The shitty walls oh, of Umberly make it show that Melvin only gets five healing and not five healing. healing. Five healing. Five and healing is still healing. Five healing. Damn you, Umberly. Then I will All be right, casting. But... Sacred Flame, because that was my bonus action, so this is my actual action, which will be Sacred Flame at Creepy Lady. Creepy Creepy's Lady. Give me a deck save, please. Uh, He's a lady. Uh, I succeed and dodge oh, out of oh, your oh, Sacred oh. Flame. Creepy rude. Lady. That's rude. Creepy Lady. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that brings us on to Prion. <clears throat> okay, rinse and repeat. With, Let's see, do I want to lose my flip? Uh, 24 to hit. Uh, that hits. And then a second attack. For 17 damage in total. Nice. 17. Starting to look worn and more damaged at the moment. Um, at the end of your turn, it will begin looking around the room and move to this location. Oh, no, it doesn't. It does. I attack. Mm -mm, he said no. 
<laughs> it does so without provoking opportunity ah, attacks. That's a sentinel. Doesn't matter if you disengage. It's a legendary action. Really? Yeah, that'll supersede probably. Uh, wow. Well, specific. What is the what does the part in Sentinel say? It says uh, da, 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 da. specific beats general. So. so you have master techniques to take advantage of every drop in enemy's guard. Uh, when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Creatures provoke attacks of opportunity even if they take the disengage action before leaving your reach. When a creature mm -hmm. within five feet of you makes an attack against another creature, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The, the legendary action supersedes that. Okay. It does mm -hmm. indeed, I would say. It um, yeah. specifically says this movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. Okay. So. And... Okay, that was the end of uh, Prion's turn when that occurred. So we're on to Moriah. All righty. You moved. I don't appreciate that. Hold on. <laughs> Run back down the hallway. Uh, just going to check if I have line of sight. Oh, wait. I don't think I need line of sight. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. Y'all, it's a day. Within range, who can hear? Don't have to move. Okay, yeah. You have Although we don't need to get there. into the specifics about the, um, you know, the, like, hearing capacity of a statue. Um, anyway, uh, I am going to cast with uh, some horrible dissonant chords, a dissonant whisper. Um, so please make a wisdom save for me and I'm up casting this. I can't make it pop up because my cheat is weird, but I'm casting this at, uh, third level. Has rolled oh. a 17. Okay. Well, that's still going to be more damage. So let's throw an additional couple d D6s on there. That's a total of, wow, that's really, really shitty. Uh... Uh, 13 divided by 2 is 6. Is 6. Okay, 6 points of damage. And this is, is why I learned to do math in school. <laughs> looking a bit more frenzied, a bit more damaged. Um, bits of it falling off, the, starting yeah. to crumble, but looks all the more furious for it. Uh, good job, Nether. <laughs> Bardic inspiration. <laughs> Jeez, you don't have to sound so enthusiastic about it. A day. <laughs> I don't see the blood flying out of your veins. Indeed. Um. Let's see. Nice pipe, Sean. <laughs> Thank you. Creature's turn. It's good prop. I like that. Yeah. Point at people with it. At it's good. It's a good storytelling prop. <laughs> we are going to unleash three attacks upon the paladin of a good sea god who clearly um, smited the statue. That seems the right thing to do. Bite is only going to come Smite in at a. Bite me, will you? Eleven. Spear at a. Well, here the luck runs a little dry. I have not rolled above a ten. So there you go. <laughs> 10, 9, and 8. All attacks missing, Saraya, and I do believe. Because I was singing Lord of the Rings. It protected me. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Thank Howard you, Shore Howard Shore, for that protector. beautiful score. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. That's Howard Shore is blessed. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Fable42. I've just raided with a party of oh, very cool. Thanks, guys. What's up? Uh, hello, beep, 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 Fablers. Beep. What's up? Beep, 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 beep. We are fighting a vampiric jade statue that's holding its head in its hand and like causing all sorts of Again, free bleeding. Again, we have bleeding. all been there. Like, come on. <laughs> Let's Probably. stop demonizing and vilifying the statue, okay? <laughs> okay. Nah, we'll keep doing it. Uh, Melvin, it is your turn, I believe. You've been healed, so you are you just awaken. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm gonna look around. I see a giant beaver in my face. That's a little um, concerning. Oh, uh, so many jokes. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> There's just not time for them all. We'll just think them all and not say them. Oh, I'm gonna stand up for half my movement, and then it's difficult terrain to move through um, the space of an ally, so I can only get to there. Um, but that will get me line of sight back to the enemy, and uh, and I'm gonna point at it with my quill and uh, shoot a firebolt at it um, for a 24 to hit. I think oh, I'll probably hit. It does. 11 points of fire. I have any... No, I don't. Ooh. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Good. But as the spell lands, it looks at you. And is that where oh, you no. end your turn? Unfortunately, I don't have any more movement, so okay. I'm stuck there. It will. Let's see. Do I want to do this or that? Yeah, we're going to look between all of you. Any of you who are cursed suffer another five points of necrotic damage. I believe that is Melvin. Is and... there a range on that, or is Melvin. it just anyone at um, all? Melvin! Let's see. Melvin goes down again. I literally God thought damn it, that Melvin. so many time shot. I'm so happy you did. <laughs> Melvin! Um, 30 feet. So with the movement, Mariah, okay. you are included in this five as well. Damn. <laughs> you see the blood just running across Melvin's pretty clothing. Uh, rude. Serian! I'll get the All wizard. Right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> so we're gonna head back in with uh, with our new trident friend, Wave, for some more pokey action. Beep a lap up, boop boop. Twenty five to hit. Absolutely. Dope. Um, and then I'm going to expend a spell slot and see how she likes fire, um, a Searing Smite. Searing Smite is cast before the attack. Divine Smite is the only one that procs on your hit. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, then I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to take my uh, second attack and just hit it again. Okay. Put a loop up. Um... 27 to hit. 27 hits. Okay, so I have a question real fast. Yeah, real fast. Um, given Super fast. Um, given that I have a second attack and Searing Smite can be rolled You could have cast it and then attack, done it on the second attack. Yeah. Can I say that retroactively? Because my brain sure. just put it together. Thank you, Peter. You're a nice DM. <laughs> Sean is like, boo. <laughs> I would have also allowed it. Thank you, Sean. Aww. You're a nice But I would have been a lot more sour about it, probably. <laughs> All right. So then um, that Not means how you're supposed to do 16 it. for the second. Actually. <laughs> Actually. 16. Yeah. So 16 and 13, 29. Wow. Oh, get ready. Powerhouse. Wow. It is... You now see that almost that the um, its arm with the spear is just barely hanging on. In fact, it is just looking like only a fraction of what it used to be. Um, you'd think a well placed hit with a hammer somewhere would cause it to crumple, but it is still there and will still um, will just continue just. <gasps> <clears throat> between the turns just creating this sound as the blood continues to pour forth from your allies another five points of necrotic damage from Sarayan, the uh from melvin <laughs> and from moriah oh does melvin keep taking damage even yes. though he's down i assume that's just an automatic failed death save a single failed death save from oh, melvin. well tits <laughs> and it is also Nether's the next one's turn. totally gonna kill me so just... no Straight to straight to dust. <clears throat> if this damage renders you unconscious, yeah. you die. No. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Mariah. <laughs> I did not sign up for that, guys. I'm not strong enough. But it is Nether's turn. Stop taking my friend's blood. <laughs> Two Eldritch blasts. Number one hits 
AC. 16. Yes! Seven points of force damage. So, Nether, with that first attack, it being particularly vulnerable to force damage, which would have mattered a lot had you um, rolled more anything but a one on like, yes, all exactly. of your other attacks. It would have made a big difference. Seven doubles to 14, and that is enough damage to kill it. You are, my friend, may provide Woo! the description should you wish. Um, so just right in the center mass, just shooting out a big uh, shrapnel of uh, jade going out the back and just scattering all over the room. And then the, the, the uh, shoulders collapse in as it all just sort of falls down until finally it's just the hand holding the head up that looks at everybody before crumbling to dust. Nice. Hell yeah. Hmm. Well, um, I think Someone that, uh, I think that Melvin is dying. Please. No, well, fuck it. I'll just... I, I can or... lay on hands or someone else want to do it or... Does the you, cleric want a cleric? Do it, Sarah. He's yeah. dying. The cleric has been trying to cleric. I'm trying to cleric. Cleric, go cleric. I'm going to cleric. What Melvin, stop dying. <laughs> God, that was poor. Great oh, is that the prayer? He's actually Melvin, healing him Melvin, because he has to dying. be, you got to do it like immediately. I'm trying to click on it and it's not going. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. So. Uh, I'm going to say, we're going to do, okay, you. then we're doing. Melvin, you're getting oh. cure wounds. You're not getting the other. That's what you're getting. Oh my god! Uh, half of wow. that. Take eleven points of healing. That is a tremendous. Oh, third level. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, and Saran will also contribute some health points through lay on hand. She'll run to her friend and Mariah's try some healing. I was like, I, uh, I just started like Mariah up on the wall, like clutching my neck. <laughs> like, yeah, Serene's so less worried about. Her. It's fine. <laughs> no one cares uh, about it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> Mariah, have, have some healing. Mariah, I'm going to yeah, cast two we... things at you. Ooh, two. Why did it cast Bless? Um, I did not cast Melvin. Bless. No, the healing word came up. It's fine. Melvin. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should get a 12, no, 13 points. Of... Is that half or? Yeah, that's half. Oh, wow. Okay. 13, you said? Um, yeah. And then Saran will give the other 12 to Mariah. Is that Drizelle, pick 12 or half of 12? No, that's 12. Because okay. I had 25, so I gave 13 <clears throat> to Melvin. So that'd be six to each. Oh, oh, yeah, but all healing is halved yeah. currently. Well, hot beans. Because of the, the shitty walls. Because yeah. of the bitch. Ah, the shitty, shitty walls, walls of Umberly. Of um, because of the, the decoration. Shitty walls the shitty of Umberly. Walls of Umberly. <laughs> um, <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh no. Uh, Gadrazel oh. comes and helps you up, I Melvin, can't. and looks at you, and you see he's got very deep green eyes. He pulls you up. He says, uh, "You really should hang out more in the back." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't intend to be in the front. I didn't know the statue'd come alive. And I, I hold up the, the bag of holding that I had found in the chest right before the combat started. What is the beaver's name? Gadrazel. Uh, I like that Gadrazel was like not at all impressed by that answer. <laughs> yes. When Melvin was like, I tried Gadrazel, I was like, loser. Um, <laughs> Try harder. And then Nether turns to Mariah. Are you all right? Is everyone all right? I am fine. No, no one's. I feel. I, I start to say no one's dead, and then I, I sort of trail off after no one's, and I look at Saran. Still dead. Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I died, but uh, you, you. Died. I got better. <laughs> What's oh that you have you in your died. hand? Oh, oh yeah. Um, everyone. And uh, Saran looks at the trident wave very meaningfully. Everyone, um, I would like to introduce you to to Wave. Wave is a sentient being. Um, we have soul bonded. Um, we both serve Persona. So, yeah, everyone, Wave, Wave, everyone. So, everyone, Wave. 
so you you married a trident? Huh? Well. Uh, oh, are you I Mrs. Think... Wave now? Are you Mrs. Wave now? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, Cause... Wave. What do you think? You are not <laughs> Mr. Wave. Oh. <laughs> you, you said you're you're soul bound. Yeah, like we're soul bonded. But can't you have soul bonds with people who aren't like a significant other, like friends? I think, I think that that particular that particular statement gets a little complicated when you're talking about objects. I don't. Yeah, I don't I've know. Never heard I, of that before. I'm still learning. Obviously, you guys. Can we this. debate the whole soul bond thing when we're not in a shitty dungeon? Maybe. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. And Sarayan, um is it possible for Sarayan, without offending Wave, to kind of strap Wave to her back? Before you do, you will hear the voice say, Wait. No, oh, okay. Who do they serve? Um, well, um... So is this, a, is this, a, hear... this conversation or a yeah, this conversation? It's a, it's in, um, it's in, uh, Sarayan's head. And sh- both Sarayan and Wave speak Aquan to one another. Mm. So what would that sound like, Peter? <laughs> wow, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's <laughs> took the bubbles right out of your mouth. <laughs> um, but so then Sarayan, um, um, well, they don't, I'm the only one who serves Persona, and I'm imagining that, like, when this is happening, obviously Sarayan is not cool about it, and she kind of gets this like thousand yard stare, and she's like tilting her head, and like <laughs> you can tell she's having a conversation. Oh I God, am uh, <laughs> not even going to say anything as she does this, and I'm going to go make sure that the two thousand gold of gems and gold that we found earlier that I put down in my notes, but wasn't sure if I actually had time to properly loot, is all in the bag of holding. That's fine. You can take I'm a gonna, couple of minutes to do that. I'm going to go sit in a different corner and turn the other bag of holding that we found inside out. Ooh, yes. Good call. Yeah, so I, I don't I don't really know. Um, one of them serves some sort of crow lady thing. I think two of them serve the crow lady thing. They, it's all con. It's all the same in my brain. I stop listening when it's not about personas. I have no interest <laughs> in her or her dealings. Fair enough. Neither do I. The others serve no one. Um. Yeah, I guess so. They don't really talk about it, or if they have, I wasn't listening. At least she's honest about it. <laughs> Damn. In that case, you should be my keeper. Oh, I, I'm But honored. you should convert them to the cause. Uh, this would be a good place. All of these walls tell the story of Umberly. Perhaps one would like to serve Umberly. But don't we serve Persona? We do. But Umberly and Persona are not one and the same. This is true. <laughs> I mean, I can talk to them about Persona, but but I, I don't think that my, my the goal of my pilgrimage is to proselytize and convert people. Your pilgrimage is insignificant to me, Sarayan. Oh. oh. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> Tears start to well up in her eyes and she swallows really hard. And the weapon kind of grows cold in your hand it feels like the entity is kind of gone just a bit feel like, silence Bye. where that communication once was let's go to the kitchen and make a cup of tea weird. Oh, and you guys see Sarayan looking wave. looking uh, misty eyed and confused in the corner <laughs> holding a classic kind of looking, Sarayan looking I was like, at a trident. what's new what's new she I get like misty just have we, <laughs> talking to my trident. Have we done a proper searching of this room? 
Um, I feel like I, we did do a, a pretty good investigation check, but we should do another pass through just in case. Is there like I was was going to ask, is there anything other than the gold and the gems and the two potions of healing that we picked up in this room um, that looks remotely valuable? Besides all that, <laughs> there was a there was a bag of holding which Melvin has. Right, and he has now turned out. Well, uh, there we'll was. See. Um. <laughs> Um, let's let's double check. I don't. Soviet magic. Come on. Plus five plate mail. Something pretty. <laughs> ha, oh, ha, so ha. pretty. Um, Something pretty and shoe. witty and fun. Dabby. Oh, yeah. A spell book, uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a spell book or some plate mail. So no, just the. Uh, you only have the ritual book. No, the potion of healing. The um. Uh. The, and the gems and gold. This w that was from, right? That was from this room. Yeah, that is what you find. That's correct. So there's nothing did, in the bag of holding. Did anything come out of the bag of holding when I turned it inside out? No, there it seems sure. to be empty. Oh, lame. lame. No? Well, I guess we just have another bag of holding. Sorry, Peter. Your players <laughs> are not damn. impressed. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of money. Do you want to hold on to that one, Melvin? Uh, sure, we definitely shouldn't put them inside each other. So, No, we're going to keep them very far apart. But hey, at least we get to pay the crew. Yay. That's true. We, there are we, other we rooms found some in this money. area, but I, I wonder if they're safe to open. We can check. Can... And there's a door right next to you, I think. Um, there is. That's what I'm looking Robin, at. Do you want to take a look? Investigate uh, it for traps or something? Uh, yeah. I, sure. Um, I'll give you a hand. Okay. Since I, I don't know where Nene ran off. I mean, <laughs> do, do you want some guidance? Uh, sure. I'll I'll take whatever I can get at this point. I, I, please, I could always eat through the door. Yay! <laughs> I'd rather the door not, like, I don't know where I would think this of this from, but, you know, bite you or something. I don't know. Um, that's that going to be a fight. grand total Sometimes they of do. 28 investigation. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, pretty oh, darn good. Geez. This door looks, uh, I pretty much identical to the one you just passed through. Untrapped, unlocked, as far as you can tell. I.e. mundane as fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back into this room while you open Call my door. doors mundane. Sorry, what? <laughs> Treasure is lame. The, loot the doors sucks. are mundane. The doors are mundane. Dust, uh, I know. I know. I, I have high standards. I'm gonna tell A everyone single that tear the, rolls the, down the doors, here. the door is safe to open. But I'm gonna sit back here in case there's something behind it that isn't. Fine. I'm gonna step forward and I'm just gonna like. Uh, I'm sure not gonna kick it down. But steps it. on the other side of Gadrazel. Uh, yep, I, I open it. Revealing a hallway with Look, another door at the end. A hallway Look, full nothing. of danger. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, one of the other doors that we opened had a giant ballista behind it. Pointed right right I, at I, it. I was thinking. I don't have many hit points. I'm not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling well. Hmm. Do, do we need to take a, a quick break? If we could, that would be, I mean, preferable for, for me. I, I feel pretty tired. I feel if, tired. If people are, if people are Super not well, tired. then that's fine. But Gadrazel's not around for very long. That's right. I have to go back to the Feywild soon. <laughs> do you want to come check out this hallway with me? Yes. Beaver boy? Yes, I do. Please. What is the mortal world like? Oh, it's very long and made of stone. It's strange. Damn. This is boring in comparison to what's up top. I should go there. Later. I want to go there now! Ah! My wrathful fay begins to throw a little temper tantrum. Oh my god. Um, with a, just a, a reminder, I have a passive perception of 18, so if there's any uh, shady business going on in this hallway that uh, is less than or equal to that as her difficulty for noticing. I should Understood. Notice. Um, do you have a light? I have dark vision. Okay. No, I don't have a light. <laughs> All right. Noted. Also, uh, peek around the corner. We should so, never right. give the the beaver claw line. 
You see these subtly shifting <laughs> walls continue down, and again, these walls never really stop moving. All of their motifs are ever so slightly changing, the stone flowing like water, its carvings animated ever so slightly um, as you walk past them, and that is all you see extending back towards the end. What there a shitty hallway. There appears to be another corner here, though. <laughs> um... We need to What's stop offending the hallway. I want to investigate this <laughs> door. Go for it. <laughs> we a sixteen. A sixteen. Um, you look at where the door, does this go? Does... <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be um, just a very thin wire attached to the handle of the door. It seems to be that passes then through the latch and to some sort of mechanism behind it. Does the door seem like it's a real door? Oh, or is yeah, it trapped it looks, for kicks? Okay. Can I just ask I doors mean, if they're real? There's no, there's no keyhole or anything like that. It is just a handle and a door. Mm. Uh, well, Nene fucked off. So, <laughs> Gadrizel, do you want to eat this door that might explode? Up to you. Really. Okay, then we can skip it. I do believe my mistress is capable of disarming a trap. Oh, shit, nether. <laughs> yes? Do you, uh, trap, door, wire, snip, snip? Can it be avoided? Yeah. Do we need to open it? If we want to open all the doors, then yes. Very well. I will it's it. up to you guys. I, I can just... Keep going down the hut. Shitty halls of Umberly. <laughs> right. Uh, so you guys stand there. Nether moves up to um, uh, make the. Uh, are you going to try to make a thieves' tools check to disarm? I am. Guidance. Right. That's what the captain said to do. Guidance. As I'm guidance. Uh, you, do you might have still have a bardic inspiration for me if it's been less than ten minutes? Um. That is Did up to that? the DM. 10 minutes? Yeah, probably. Well, you could have some guidance. I'll take the guidance. Thank you very have much. Have some guidance. Volker. And here we go. Rolling Thieves Tools. Um, I have rolled a 13. Um, we're going to go with um, some guidance on top of that for a 4. So a 17. Okay. You um, are able to uh, install a little bit of putty that holds the um, wire in place putty. while snipping the part that uh, holds the handle, thereby keeping the wire in place that would run to the trap and allowing you to pull the door open. Pull it open, revealing a stone wall behind the door. There's nothing behind it. Really is, shitty, uh, Umberly. Really <laughs> shitty. I hate this place. <laughs> is it, is like, it, this does not make sense. Does it? No, you're right. It, it doesn't. Is it actual stone? When I lean over towards the beaver, this is the kind of place that was built to fuck with people. It angers it's and confuses us. me. Yes. And he goes over to the door and, <laughs> and starts to chew on it. Good beaver. Yes. Uh, okay. You see the you, you hear a sort of a hey, sound as the <laughs> hey, hopefully the wire doesn't slip. But anyway, all right, Mariah, you continue forward. Um, and as the uh, you're looking in the shadows here, and as you are walking um, forward, you feel a little catch on your ankle. Even with an eighteen. Mm hmm. All right. And um, it just was in the shadows of the darkness. It just did not, um, was Which not obvious to you. Automatic and, mm. minus five to uh, <sighs> passive perception. And a okay. large piece of stone. Um, Prion, are you right behind her as well? Uh, yeah, I moved myself there. So yeah, I'd be it's, I mean, it's up to you. I just saw you there. That's why I asked. And yeah, I moved Mariah's myself the there. forward scouting party. So be it. But um, you, you guys tell me. Yeah. Okay, uh, both of you, please make dexterity saving throws as a enormous 
Um, it's an elevator. Part of ceiling, the, the ceiling oh, stone oh begins God. to fall. Trigger. That 20. Is Bless, Bless is probably gone by now, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Bless lasts a minute, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Nine. Nine. Um, unfortunately, nine is a failure. Um, half of 17 damage on a... Um, on a success and 17 damage on a failure as the rocks crumble down around you. Oh. Um, you hear this sound of almost the the grinding sound of the stone almost sounds like a hiss of laughter from the halls. Yeah, well, fuck you too, Umberly. That comes running for her. Are you all right? <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, uh, oh, you look very hurt. But Mariah was also hurt. Are you all right? Categorically, no. But I also don't really super care right now. So, yeah. You, you should okay. probably care a little bit. It's a dangerous <laughs> place. Let's down this hallway if I just peek my head around. Um, uh, I'm going to turn to Serene and be like, it sounds like we should probably go... That doesn't sound good. Right. Sorian clamors to her feet <laughs> and clunks towards the door. Clunky, 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 clunky. The hallway clunky, continues clunky. far down to another doorway. The door looks identical uh, to all the others that you've seen. Mariah, do okay, you need well, a healing spell? Uh, a healing I need a torch. We... That's what I need. Um. Well, I have a torch. Uh... I mean, I have a torch. No do you want? Do you want a torch? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's take a torch. Have a torch. Light me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you guys are lighting up a torch. Yeah. As the firelight begins to illumine the halls, um, would someone please roll a d6 as the? I've got um, this this time. The bar relief begins to shift. Bar. I have rolled Every time you say that five. Makes me happy. Isn't it the same? No, it was a six last oh, time. Oh, it was a six? Never mind. This is the addled mind of the castaways. Yeah. Oof. Castaways. Have we had this one before? No, we have not. Okay. <laughs> so yes, this I is the you. addled mind of the wave mother's oh, castaways. There. So you see a maelstrom forming in the wall, threatening to engulf <laughs> this entire scene. The image shifts after this maelstrom and you see a lone, starved elf on a ragged ship, lost adrift among an endless ocean. With no water to wet her eyes, she blinks against the crusted salt, trying to read the remains of her tattered map. The day passes, and the night brings no helpful stars. She looks on to the briny water with an all-powerful thirst. All creatures have disadvantage on intel intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Yippee. Feel odd. Does anyone else feel odd? Yep. I I suddenly feel more tired. This is something that your trident's doing. I mean we did find it in the middle of a temple to Umberly. Does it have any control over this? It's been it's been quiet. I I'm assuming had it started something, like had it triggered this event, would it have heated? Like, would I have noticed or heard something? Um, you hear a, a voice in the back of your mind that just said, this was not me. You mean, can't hear you at all. Just like you this... can't hear the trident. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Oddly, I could hear it, the trident. It wasn't the trident. It wasn't muted. You can't, Sean. Jeez. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what the trident said. What uh, does the trident say? It. it wasn't the trident. <laughs> All right. Um, Mariah, uh, should we send Gadrazel down the hall? I mean, he, he's sure, let's go, beaver boy. He's very keen. So as you bring out the torch Beaver. and have this conversation and Gatrizel starts down, Mariah, you look around the corner and with this light now emanating, you do see the floor just inches in front of your toe rippling. Oh. 
Yeah, don't step there, though. Why not? Do you want to fall? What's it like? Unpleasant. Then no, I do not want to fall. Yeah, just sort of jump over the corner. It's fine. Yes. Jumps over the corner. Okay. Yeet. Such things um, anger me. So Gadrizel is just going on down the hall. Um, I'll I'll follow behind, maybe about ten feet or so, with the light and checking for traps. Okay. Now that it's been pointed out, can we all see the illusory floor? Yes, Ooh. you are all able to. Three. Um. You are all able to clearly see it. Drizel has no stats um, for... What is, uh, yeah, what is his passive perception? I have no idea. Um, let's see if I can figure out what it would be. Um, what does the beaver see? What does the... I can't go beaver see. These questions you should not ask. Um, yeah, Drizel. What do your uh, beaver eyes see? He has dark vision for 60 feet and passive perception of 10. Gotcha. Okay, Gadgezel's leading the way then forward. Um, um, right behind. Right behind him. Um, So we do take, I would take the, um, as far as this goes, the one in front is going to be the one seeing things first. So oh, I should, um, probably should go before the beaver then. Up to you. Too late. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the beaver zigzags forward. Um, wow. Mariah, you're walking, and it's just as you get to about ten feet in front of it, you see his foot just drag on another same one of these wires, and he gadges out to make another um, dexterity saving throw as more rocks fall. Rocks fall. Gadgets all dies. Oh my god. Gadgets out has rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> Ah, oh. Gadgezel takes half of 19. That was extremely infuriating. <laughs> You're just like, his timer's running out. We may as well just send him through. <laughs> is is Gadgezel flying or is it... Does he have a flying speed? Gadgezel hey. does not have a flying okay. speed. Face step? He does have face step, mm -hmm. but um, hasn't used it. All right. I should use so that has step. fallen. It uses that trap has been triggered. Pops down the hall using face step. Oh, where does he pop to? Right in front of the door. Okay. Yep, sits there. Um, looks like a normal door. Much of my body aches. I'm going to destroy this door. I think. Um, and he's going. Violence to is always the answer to. Yes. <laughs> Attacks the door and opens it. <laughs> okay, opens it. Um, a uh, you see, <laughs> he opens it and as you, uh, he immediately sees an enormous loaded ballista, which. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gadras. <laughs> <laughs> and it hits him with a twenty-five and deals. <laughs> 21 points of piercing damage. <laughs> he turns into a bunch of little green butterflies. And, and you see gone. then clunk, 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 the, the ballista bolt kind of, it, it it goes immediately through the creature and then actually falls through the floor in another illusory pit right here. As Gadgetel goes poof, I just stand there for a moment and then turn back around towards the rest of the group and say, come on, time to go. <laughs> Back down the hallway. <laughs> Could be Is he gonna be okay? Could what be are we? Uh, oh, yes. He 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 he's a visitor from the Feywild. <laughs> he, he can actually take whatever form I I choose. Um, Adrizel went to a special place. Why'd you pick a beaver? Um, <laughs> it seemed appropriate. I, I this particular understand. Fey entity is very angry, and and beavers always look kind of angry to me. Or I guess I always thought of them as being angry. Now that I see them, they're not all that angry looking. I don't know. He seems pretty angry. Well, that's I the spirit. The right that's choice. the spirit oh. that's angry. He could take oh, whatever form. Oh, so he'll be angry no matter what you make. Yeah, that's right. Um, what about a fish? I can make him a fish. Then. I have a fish. Angry fish. 
Oh. Oh. Like Dahl is going to kind of fly around and check um, these walls for secret doors. Secret wow, this conversation doors. is happening. Okay. Where uh, secret feel secret free to make that um, uh, investigation check, I the guess. The investigation with... is intelligence? Yes. Yes. I have rolled a six. No secret doors to be found. Um, DM, I'm going to just be passively keeping my eye out for anything hidden in kind of trailing behind Mariah. Yep, what's your passive investigation? 17. Okay. As you guys now have your light, you feel you are uh, more obvious to anything you would be approaching, but also you can see the things in front of you uh, yeah. much better. As we uh, so back pass to back out, treasury. yeah. Which, as we walk by, I look down at this pile and I just remark to Melvin, this is the most depressing part it's of a lot this of fake whole treasure. dungeon. Just for the record. I'd like to take a so look at this far. door. Okay. I'll help. It looks like all of the others you've encountered thus far. I'd like to check at it for cursory traps. glance. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Ooh, natural 20 yeah. for 28. Uh-huh. Same as the others. This one is um, perfectly normal. Perfectly natural. Practically natural been traps, in every way. Okay. I'm going to... I'll step to the side and say that it's safe to open. Hot shit. For someone else. On it. For someone else. Uh, it's, it's a 20. Someone else can grab this. Have a the door weird custom thing. Stuff. And there is a um Why more hallways? Mariah, for huh. future reference, I, I can open things from a distance. The name of this place oh, is I called can the, too. the Winding Way. Um actually now that I remember, I actually can't. Oh yes, no I can. Yes, I can. No, I can. Okay. Yes I can. Yes I can. Well, I can do that too. So I should remember you that. Should. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, God. The question is, who does it better? You know what I mean? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Musical theater references. Um, I get that. Does this corner suck? No, you're moving towards, that, with your torch. The walls all look good. You don't see any trip wires. Everything looks in order. Tasty. Yeah. Wow, they really took this maze out. shit seriously. Yeah. It's oh. kind of amazing. Oh. Get Forward. out. Ah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So you can see here and here, your torchlight is dim to out 60 or 40, right? Is uh, it 20 bright, 20 dim? That is? is a torch. Okay. Uh, yeah. In yep. that case, we'll just reveal this here, just because you see a, uh, with your sure. passive perception and paired with a torch, you can see a trip wire at this door, at a door that's right here as well. <clears throat> you see the capacitory continue here. The captain sees all. Ugh. Trip wire, trip wire. And Doors that might be fake. Who knows? Coming around here, you see a false pit or a um, shimmering magical pit there. DM, uh, we can't see the parts of the dungeon that we already explored in the previous session. Mm -hmm. um, so is that intentional? Yes. Okay. Uh, Just making sure. You would know, you would remember, um, so I will reveal them again, then hide them Please. again, just to give you a general idea of the layout. But you did not explore down this upper hallway here. Right. Mm. Okay, thank you. I mean, chances are we've already found the good stuff and we're just wandering around the rest of the maze, having gotten lucky the first time about having chosen the path that actually is the place that you're supposed to go, so... You're saying we should leave. I don't know. I'm putting it to the group. 
How thorough do we want to be? I, I, I feel comfortable maybe. I could use hey. a nap. Do we have enough to pay the crew and then have some left over for us? I don't remember how much we owe the crew at this point. It's a 10 and 10 deal. Uh, so they get 10% of what we earn. So plus, it, it, plus a flat fee. In plus a fat fee. Um, fat, flat. So yes, there's enough. Okay. Uh, I mean, I feel like they wouldn't put such a big pile of of gold, of fake gold out if they didn't have something to hide. Do we but think we already found trident. the thing that it was hard to find. Oh, do we it's think that the true. trident is that? Well, plus all the gold that I just put in my pack. We're here for but... an ancient artifact, are we not? Well, he, yeah, the, the, I think the I trident that is was... What, that was yeah. what we were looking for. I thought we talked about that, unless that was not made clear. There was an ongoing ritual that Melvin disrupted in the other room. Right. Um, that, that was presumably the ritual that we got told about that yeah. was controlling the Sahuagans. Does that wave, seem correct? Um, you will hear a voice in your head, Melvin, as you are kind of, if you, if you guys actually have this conversation, it will say, this is correct. My powers were being used against my will. Hello? Do they speak Gawain? I, I do, actually. Does Mariah? Fuck no. I, I'm going to say he hello out loud. You are strange. You have heritage of the deep, yet seem utterly incapable of living there. <laughs> Can Serene okay. hear any of this? Wow, or fucking called out. <laughs> Wave decided to just can wave. No, kind of this is direct. This is directly in? to. Uh, this is directly to Melvin. Okay. Slide into his DMs. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna think wave. back this time, um, realizing yep. that it's not out loud. G I mean, that's that's true. Uh, who who are you? I am Wave. Oh, you're the the Trident. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm completely incapable of swimming. I never learned. Who do you serve? Um, I don't really serve anyone. I guess I'm, I mean, I'm part of this crew, but like. I feel the symbol I, you carry. Does it mean nothing to you? Oh, I, I found it here in, in this place and it seemed to, it has some abilities to like, lessen the effects of the area on us, so I figured I should carry it around. Hmm. Are the murals... Is the power not impressive to you? Does Umberly not seem one who you would serve? I mean, it's it's impressive, but I'm not really the religious type, personally. I, I never saw the, the point. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, goodbye. God, I hope to have waves energy someday. <laughs> Big wave. Yeah. And it just completely cuts off. weren't on the Penny. same wave. Okay, bye. Oh my god, they're all, they weren't on the same wavelength. Horrible. Oh, it was horrible, geez. yes. Horrible indeed. I loved it, so. Alrighty. I'm cool. sensing a dead end in my future. Uh, How literal do you want to be with that? Either. Uh, I take it. I take it that the decision of the group to. You, you said that you would leave it up to the group as to whether or not we went on. I didn't hear a dis. I personally, Elena, did not hear a decision made, so I wasn't right, sure. So forging on, Captain, like going. I like it. And but you, no, you, but actually, if people have an objection, I I literally didn't hear anyone say anything. So. Okay. Rain's too tired to care. I think we should be follow. Okay. I, I thought right. I was under the impression we were going to clear this out so that we could come back and get more ballistas for our ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's both in character and out of character. <laughs> <laughs> this guy in ballistas, idea. am I right? That's a real yeah, thing like really. <laughs> Man, I haven't had a ballista in so long. <laughs> oh, it's. You just want me to open. Not a sentence you hear every day. <laughs> Once okay. a week. <laughs> oh, moving forward to there, 
your light shines, uh, Aww, your torchlight so shines fun. forward, revealing what seems to be a very large room ah! beyond. With, is this, so this is, um, not the same thing. This, oh, <laughs> I just sweet didn't have an Jesus. image for it. <laughs> um, it is Never mind. a beautiful, enormous crystal statue of a minotaur wielding an enormous axe. It is in a beautiful pose, and every inch of it is encrusted with jewels and beautiful, precious metal filigree. Uh... Okay. Nice. <laughs> Giggity. Um. Anyways, so um. Uh, Melvin, how how are you doing on uh, spell capacity for the day? Uh, I got a couple more. Like, do you want to hard cast attack magic, or do you want me to hard cast attack magic? I I, I don't want to take the time to ritual right right here. I I can do it. Um. I will ritually cast Detect Magic with its normal casting time, which I can do once per day. And you um, haven't done it today. Cool. Correct. Um, so whoom, your senses extend outward. You, uh, well, the walls are too thick to feel the traps on the other side of them. But um, moving there, um, you uh, can, uh, let's see. Yeah, you, you don't feel anything unusual at this juncture. Um, well, it's only I'll, thirty foot range, so I I'll probably move should forward move. to try to get more of the room. Yeah. Move um, well. and I'm gonna say to sort of not shout, but sort of say loudly back towards the rest of the crew. Um, hey, y'all, religious types, is there a reason that there would be a minotaur in a place that is Umberly esque or like? Is that just really random? Uh, DM, would I know that? That's something like, oh. that sounds like something that I would actually know since. Um, is and hold up, awkward. hold up the movement oh, there um, yep. as you are talking and uh, um, making that uh, mm -hmm. movement. Someone can make a religion check as a response to that. I could do that. DM, would a, would there be a check for general knowledge about minotaurs? Um, history. Ooh, okay. I like that. Oh, Talise. Oh. Coming in clutch. What you get, girl? I got a nat 20. Oh, oh. yeah. It's almost like I'm a cleric or something. <laughs> I so, know, with, right? <laughs> so we'll go, first of all, with the 20 and 15. Um, as you guys have a brief discussion, you determine that there's... Uh, Whatever you know about Minotaurs and where they've been and how they, they've come to be, there's nothing connecting the Church of Umberly in particular to them. It just doesn't, absolute does not make any sense at all. However, Talise, looking at it as an item of um, immense value, maybe a um, an idol of some kind, um, you know that um, Umberly and her worshippers um, well, Umberly is a jealous god, and um, they revere the things that she has claimed or pulled down to the depths. Oh. So, whoa, oh, <laughs> you went somewhere interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow, my computer and, uh, just like Vladimir the Lenin over there. Okay, hold on. I mean, she <laughs> got a cameo, yeah. Sean. <laughs> what? She should have a cameo. This is self-selecting her, her cameo oh, yeah. in hell. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I, by the way, if you haven't heard it, Russian national anthem, real banger. It's good. It is such a banger, <laughs> um, though. <laughs> it's a really good national yeah. anthem. It is good. Um, Arguably one of the best. So cool. Uh, so who who else? The first time they ever heard that was Hunt for Red October. I'm sorry. What? Hunt for Red October was the first time I ever heard the Russian oh, anthem. Oh, I, no, I feel bad. The Olympics play it in my house. They're really what? into Russia in high school. My twin brother is like, super into Russia. Yeah. So we had all these books about Russia. And Interesting. Yeah, we've, I mean, it's, 
It's one of so seriously, favorites. I'm the only Lost. one that Hunt for Red October was the first first time. I've never seen that movie. Mm. When did it this come out? This game has taken a turn, y'all. Um, yeah. so, I'll, like five years I'll tell you guys later about the Russian version of Tom and Jerry. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's look. <laughs> Let's go forward towards that. break. <laughs> so, if it's this. anything like Russian erotic, was it philosophers? Then I'm on board. Oh damn! It's not, was but it? it's actually very good. <laughs> this is probably a um, idol or a statue or something valuable that was being moved on a ship that Umberly claimed as her own, and so her worshippers are keeping it in her temple. Um, that is mm -hmm. the that is what would make sense to you uh, with that huh. 22 of religion. So, okay. What exactly do you think it would take for us to get this out of here? Uh -huh. um, DM, looking at it, does it how heavy does it look? Um, well, it is large, so it's probably about oh, 10 large. feet tall, um, solid crystal inlaid with different gems and everything so um it would so be probably tough. more than 500 pounds probably definitely more than 500 pounds you're looking at a ton or a couple of tons you always break it and just take the gems well well what if i maybe i could cast like two floating books and we could lay it down on top of them to distribute the weight and how long does it last an hour um, is, is it okay for me to step into the room at this point, Peter? Um, like, will, yeah, well, as you guys us. get there, as you're kind of walking forward, both of you would notice upon stepping into the room, um, in the corners, just kind of standing there, mm, lurching back and forth are, you, you almost smell it at the same time as you see it. Just enormous oh. creatures of decaying flesh weapons stuck out of them in multiple points um these look like ogres but they should not be living by the state of their flesh uh, and you also hear a um, <laughs> sound of um jaws clenching with absolute ferocious hunger from the corner as a couple of other undead figures come around the corner my ghoul, from above. My so we have some um, furious my undead ghoul. who begin to turn. Police, uh, help! And then step towards all of you, um, seeming to be guarding this area and this particularly immensely valuable looking sculpture. So. This is what we will pick up with after our break. Surprise. Cool. Uh, well, here we are Roll at it out. again. Um, I rolled initiative for you, Saray, and I hope that's okay. Uh, you rolled well. Not okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. With a 23 to begin, we have Moriah. Um, all right. I'm going to... So I've got the torch. We walked into the room. And we see these dudes and these other ones come down the hall and I just like about face and I'm like, time to go, time to go, time to go. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just going to fucking double move. Because <laughs> uh, fuck everything. So that's 30 feet for me. Nope, that's that's too many people to walk past for that to be 30 feet. Hold on, 5, 10, 15... 20, 20, oh my god, I can't even math. Whatever. I probably get to like there. I don't know. Oh, with that the dash? Makes, yeah. Yeah. All right. I just fucking book it out of there. <laughs> that's, that's all I do. You're about to turn and say, what should we do? And then your captain's gone. <laughs> Her, oh, her, her okay, hat is like running. dangling in the air there for a second and then <laughs> <laughs> rushes after her. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess we're running now, guys. Um, uh, and I we were gonna, fighting. I'm just going to sort of... You can fight. Oh. I don't want to be at the front. I forgot. I have three um, hit points. It's the beginning of a, um, you know, it's the beginning of a new combat, so... Someone roll a d6 to see what Umberly has in store for us for this one. Oh, I'm doing it this time. I haven't done it. Do yet. it. Four. Who's cracking? Four. 
Ah! Um, so this is the unrelenting toil of those cast to her bosom. Um, and the waters begin to churn in the scenes engraved on the walls and um, then recede before repeating this uh, pattern again. A figure can be seen swimming furtively against the tide, the currents carrying them further and further out into this water. They're gasping for survival, but are only inches from a barren rest. All creatures have disadvantage on strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws. Wow. Mm. Mm. So there you go. Does this replace the? It does. Does this replace the one that? In yes. Impacted the intelligence. Okay, cool. As you feel tired, like every step just takes a bit more effort. Oh, I don't like that. Every um, breath is harder to take. But every breath. I take. Well, I'm going to cast a spell first um, as I hold my, my quill out and drop a droplet of ink into the air, which expands and um, becomes a floating meteor of ink as I cast Melvin's Minute Meteors mm -hmm. um, on myself as an action. Um, and I will throw... Minotaurs. <laughs> I will throw two of those um at do, 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 do let's see i'm going to put one of them here up to 120 feet away so one between those two the other next to this one i will all need right. dexterity saving throws from all three of them they will do so at disadvantage yep um, the two have, I have a 13 and then a four, which both fail. So we're looking at 11 points of fire damage for the guys up top. Mm, no, it's, it's or, four sorry, points of fire damage that. each and then seven for the second one. Right. 11. Unless you just want me to roll once. Didn't you say you threw two? bolts. Oh! Two total. Right. One at the pair, and gotcha. it explodes in a five-foot radius, gotcha. and then Thank one you. at the, the other ogre. So they yeah. take four up here, and then the other one, I, you know, we better roll Hi. anyway. I don't think this guy's gonna succeed. At disadvantage. Hi. 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 Got Hi. It. I've got a negative one, so... <laughs> Yeah, so seven that points goes of fire back for... around, and it's a 19. No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> seven points of fire. Got it. And then I'm going to move. Um, I think I can just get to there. Moving through never, nether is space. Cool. And that'll be my turn. Thanks for the hype train, guys. Oh, what? Woo, what hey, if you're if you're waking Klaus up from the depths there, the longer that hype train goes, we're going to... So we're already going to give away some more store credit longer it goes more we give away details below so if thank we hit, you so if much we hit level generosity. one yeah we got to hit level we one first yeah cool no, no, all right no, now no. um we're just beautiful. nether you're up all right nether looks into the room and she pulls a small uh little bobble off of her um net looks like a little piece of shell and she looks at it and she summons her tiefling heritage and she casts darkness on it and then throws it into the room and Dahl flies down, turning invisible as it does, and grabs it, and then it brings it close to his body, or her body, um, and it no longer shines as darkness, but he is going to be getting ready to hold an action to um, to reveal it. Uh, okay, what is the trigger to reveal it? The trigger case? is when any of the creatures close... Um, close enough to uh, damage uh, actually when any of the yeah, when any of the creatures get close enough to possibly damage any of the um, any of the party okay is, is it 20 foot radius again uh, darkness is 20 foot radius I do believe you are correct okay cool 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 Ooh. cool cool um, uh, sorry 15 foot radius wrong template all right um 15 foot radius. 
So he's going to be about, about to also be about like right there. That. So centered here, you said? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will have that here. It is um, and then, no, not will... visible at the moment, but yeah. We'll she say. will run to there. <clears throat> okay. Beautiful. Talise. I'm muted. Yay. Okay. I have never said that in my life. I tail it out there. I really didn't hear any of that because my internet's super sketch, but okay. Let's see. I'm going to, I guess. I guess I'm just going to hold my move myself over here and hold an action until I can actually get line of sight on one of them. Um, You do have line of sight? I think. The darkness isn't down yet. Yeah, the darkness is on standby. Oh. One of them... Okay. These are about so sixty-five like, feet away from you that you can see. Okay, I just nope. All of my range stuff <laughs> is sixty, so I can't. Okay. You sixty can. or like something that doesn't actually help. Okay. So I'm gonna hold it until I can actually do something. Which uh, which one are you going to hold then? I'm gonna be holding Sacred Flame. Okay. Holding Sacred Flame. And can I do my bonus action now while holding? Yeah. Uh, I always... Holding you can do the action. Me. Yeah, you could bonus do the action bonus first. action first. Yeah, definitely. Okay, then I'm definitely going to be casting Healing Word on Mariah. I am out of sight. Am I looking at the wrong map like a dum-dum? Yes, I am. And we're going to be sending that to Priyana instead. Okay. Healing word to Priyana. Healing word to Priyana. Healing is now fully effective. Yay. Ooh. Gracias. Sarayan. There you go. Uh, Sarayan really just wanted to get back on the, the ship and take a nap um so she's feeling a little bit panicky because she's not at a hundred and so i will cast uh protection from evil and good on myself cool good spell cast on myself. <laughs> and and are that... you retreating or are you holding ground for now um <laughs> I will also retreat. Bye. <laughs> so I Save guess I'll... Ray and run away. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, brave, I guess brave, so. Brave, five, brave, 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 <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get next to Prion. Unless I can get on the other side of him here. I was planning to come to you. Hey, evil real, it's not Taco yet. Taco. She bravely turned her tail on okay. her head. That brings us then to Prion. I stand at the front, ready, thinking that the darkness would give disadvantage anyway, wouldn't it? For undead. When it comes up, it should. Yes. I will stand they still got there to see. and strike at the thing that comes close. Mm-hmm. Okay. Holding an action? Yes. Gotcha. Um, turns of the... Uh, these guys are a little quicker. So they are going to spend their action. Dashing forward, which will trigger the... Um, held action by... Uh, just goes uh -huh. up. And um, they attack with... Talise would go first, maybe, with her held action, because mm -hmm. her... Yeah, well, they came in range, range. before yeah. the darkness went up, definitely. Yeah. So, 
to least mm -hmm. right or left for the one you're going to attack. Uh, the or left. Have... Okay. Our left. Makes a dexterity save with disadvantage. I have a 10. So that will fail. Go ahead and roll that sacred flame damage. Damio. Four. Cool. Uh, nine. Nine, nine, nine came through first. Oh, I didn't see nine, it. I, I apologize. Yeah. I, my internet's being wacky. It knows the storm. Damio and Hotman. Not your fault. Damio Hotman. That blast was as good as the one that I saw the Pips and Pepper Opsicopolis throw. <laughs> cool. Um, All right. So obviously one become in close range to me. So does my attack of opportunity go off when they hit my range? Your held action, you mean? Well, I've got 10 foot reach, haven't I? Um, it would be when, when they get in range, so a bit further away yeah mm. so yeah okay which would be well, before would the darkness be before then. the darkness goes up yeah 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 you will get a f an attack off before hey tactics y'all tic tacs there you go 17 to hit that hits so seven slashing cool and then they close and then the darkness pops um, up the one i hit doesn't move stays where he is Oh, the speed becomes zero? Yeah. Cool. I'm just stuck there in the darkness then. Well, this one will... So do I get a reaction um, as well? I don't, do I? I keep asking. No. That is your reaction to use your health yeah. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll claw you at disadvantage. I have an 11 to hit. As claws, you can see very gross fingertips coming at you from the edge of the darkness bubble. Um... You know what? Bubble. Never mind. They came here. You stopped this one. This one went. This one is going to move to where you can see you because he wants to eat you. But he ends his turn there because they dashed. So yeah. there you go. Oh, here we go. Big dumb ogre zombie. Sick boy. I know he's he is indeed. Um, what are we gonna do about this? We are gonna we are going to squeeze in with our ally here, giving us advantage against both, which is something a zombie would do. So there we go. And a crowded hallway. It's very crowded. And we'll still make um, a single attack with this awful giant looking morning star that he's carrying. Um, at disadvantage against Prion. I have amazing, same roll as before, 11, Misses. which I know will miss, which will bring us to Moriah. All right. See that we are doing some shenanigans in the hallway. Um, I'm going to. lean up against the wall and concentrate on what I'm hearing around the corridor and I'm going to send uh, the horrible discordant sounds of dissonant whispers at level two down the hallway towards this fellow. So I'd like them to make a wisdom save Where for me. Got it, yeah. uh, the one that's next to Prion and that's okay. a second level so I have to throw in one more d6. Mm-hmm. I have a two on my wisdom save. All right, so that's 19 points of psychic damage, and he immediately has to uh, move away from pre or uh, move away from me. I think. Hold on, let me double check that. Immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from me. 15, 20, 25. Runs off into the darkness. Anything else for Mariah? Um, I think since we're kind of bottlenecking the shit, I'm going to move myself to here just to have some line of sight in case shit goes down. That's, that's my turn. 
Melvin. Uh, just, just quickly, a uh, big thank you to Alias Prime for 300 bits and Anonymous Cheerer for 300 bits. Alias for 100 and Dark Horse for 100. That's two D6 inspirations. Awesome. Ooh, uh, see, um, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Very generous, it. as always. Peter, were you going to move that other ogre? Um, yeah, he just kind of, you know, moves over here or something. Hey, guys, I can help too. So, Let me uh, uh, Melvin uh, and... Stupid undead ogre. Uh, let's see. Roll off between myself and Prion. Uh, I oh. never. I never. Three-way roll off. Should we roll a Kraken? Sure. I'm rolling my giant Kraken. Oh, I got I'm roll my giant yeah. Kraken. Oh, I got a 10. Everybody Carefully. Roll a giant Kraken. Carefully. Oh, Ooh. I have rolled Ooh. a 16. Just... Wait, you get it. Oh, congratulations. Wait, wait. All right. All right. That's and a D6 it's... inspiration, right? D6, yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to be used to Okay. That. Thank you, guys. It is now Melvin's turn. Uh, can that D6 inspiration be used for damage? I don't, we haven't really determined what it could be. I mean, if it's like bardic inspiration, I know bardic inspiration. If it's be bardic inspiration, that. then technically yes, yeah. on a spell. But it's Sweet. not like bardic inspiration in that it lasts for the entire game and does not carry over to the next game. True. So I think it's just its own thing. At least that's how I will rule for it on Monday. The way we've done it in yeah. Dark Sun, because Dark Sun's a bit different, we've just done it as like, obviously the D20 is just a re-roll of whatever. And the D6, it could be either added or subtracted from anything. So, so if we all Dark do our Sun own thing, then it's different. fine. It's up to you, Speed. Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do with it. I mean, if um, you want to add it to let's... any roll. Let's roll with what we've been doing for now. So add it to an ability check, attack, roll, or saving throw. Okay. So not damage. Okay, that's fine. Just checking. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to, uh, yeah, as a bonus action, I'm going to throw two more of those flaming or orbs of ink, and they're going to splash. Um, I'm going to aim those right here, which I think should hit both of the large ogres and the small ghoul right in front of Prion. Um, yeah. both of them. Uh, so I will need dex saves from all three of those. Yeah. At what is the range? 120 feet. No, what is the, the, the damage? Oh, it's range? a five foot, five foot five splash foot, radius. Okay. Right, so yes. doll is fine. Um, my ghoulie gob actually has a 16 to save. And... Let's see, deck saves from ogres. Uh, five and a seven. So. Okay. Let's um, see. So then that yet? will be okay. not yet. Um, ten from the first, and oh, only three from the Ooh. second. And technically, I guess they get two different deck saves, one for yeah. each. Yeah. Um. If you care. <laughs> if this. I bet we're going to have the, a similar result. Uh, okay. So they all take the three on the second one. So. Okay. Uh, uh, seven, so that's my bonus action. And then as an action, eight. Uh, Oops. I will uh, reach out with can't see them because they're in darkness so i will just blindly throw a firebolt into that that darkness and hope i hit something large you know it's just a normal it's... roll i believe against the ones in front yes since they are squeezing normal roll okay Ooh, nine Ouchie. to hit um which one are you Preferably attacking? the big guy was what I was hoping for. Yeah, it hits. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, uh, for eleven points of fire. Cool. Just want to just want to point out there. I, I, I was distracted from. Is that at a disadvantage because of the darkness? No, because they're squeezing. They're squeezing okay. into it. each oh, other's that's space. Good. Yeah. That's great news. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get around the corner. And behind Mariah. And that'll be my turn. All right. We are about as paper thin as one another in this combat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just clearing the way for Serene to get in there if she wants. Nether, it is your turn. DM, um, 
As a bonus action, I can command Dahl to attack. Would you allow me to also command Dahl to move? Instead that of attack. seems to make sense to me. Yeah. All right. All right. So Dahl will move. Will fly towards the statue, developing it in darkness, um, and then is going to hold the action to return right when she um, expects the um, ghouls to come forward to attack Priam. So, so that is... Dahl can't see. No, but I can, and I can communicate with Dahl telepathically. Can you see through your own magical darkness? Um, I cannot. Gotcha. Okay. I was just wondering how you were, your plan to reposition if it's like fly exactly this many, you know, I'm just wondering how the, this communication is happening for, for that and how. A good you know. point. Uh, with Dahl being in darkness, I would be blind. So, yeah, we don't want to do that. So Dahl will fly back, and as she flies, we allow her to put away the uh, put away the sure. darkness. All right, put so it away. Fly, put away the darkness. The, <clears throat> their uh, ceilings here. We're looking at ten feet too, though. So, um, so it's a fifteen a... foot globe. So as long yeah. as she's fifteen feet up, does that get them all? Well, what I'm saying is. If she's right here, she's in reach of the big, large ogres. Aha. How high up would she have to be in order to keep the ogres still in the darkness? Higher than the ceiling, so. Higher than the ceiling. All right, so what if she were to fly back out of range so that if she were to fly here? So... Uh, I guess what I'm getting at is Dahl cannot see where to fly. You cannot see where to tell her where to go. Okay. And as soon as the darkness is dropped, she is within in range of these creatures. And if she moves while it's dropped, it will provoke attacks of opportunity. Got it. Can she move without dropping it? Yes. Though the... Um, as we continue to do this, we'll probably have to add some sort of randomness into it because it's very much... You know. Okay. But, um, yes. Um, I would say, is she going to move in that that same way then, like you said? Yeah, she'll move further into the room. Okay. Revealing the uh, ogres. Um, mm -hmm. So that people will be able to attack them with advantage now. Um, of course, nether steps around the corner, looks out, can see nothing, and fires off two Eldritch Blasts at disadvantage because she's blind, but with advantage because they're um, squeezing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, two blasts coming down the hall. Uh, the first one hits AC 21, seven points of force damage. Okay. And then the second one... Hits AC 26, seven, seven points more. of force damage. All right, 14 points those to the... those will both uh... be on the ogre, I think. Makes sense All right. since it's the larger target. Boom, boom. That is her turn done. And now Dahl is going to be holding an action to return the globe of darkness right before the ghouls go on their turn. Um, unfortunately, that is some meta knowledge, but I don't know how to get around it. No, turn order is... I mean, it's a thing. Yes. Yeah. It's part of playing the game, which okay. is just what we do. So, cool. All right, um, Talis. These creatures are no longer in darkness and sitting there, all clustered up, heaps of walking, desiccated flesh. Yay! Hey. Uh huh. <laughs> I will pick the right thing. And I would like to come up here. I would like mm -hmm. to cast second level Thunder Wave. Thunder, 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 <laughs> Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave, suck it. Oh. What, what do I need to roll? Like it. No, I moved up so that you're not going to be hit. That was the whole point of me moving next to you. 
but it's, it's all around yeah. you, isn't it? Thunder yeah. Wave? Can you post Thunder Wave the uh, description? Th Thunder Wave is a is a square in front of you. Oh, I got that. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's in front of me. See, I was like, Jade, I'm not coming for you. <laughs> Con saves, and these are at disadvantage. So a... Yeah. Yeah, so it's 15 foot cube originating from me. So you can get two ogres and a. Uh... Yeah. Um... And at least one of them. Are you using destructive wrath on that? That's the storm cleric thing where you can like channel divinity to deal max damage on a thunder or lightning spell. Oh, no, I was saving channel divinity in case we decided that I needed a turn undead because I only have one charge. I was just curious. Okay. I do. I love doing level. that. But. I have um, a natural level. one on the small guy. Uh, big guy in back has a six. Big guy in front has a 19. So okay, sounds like so one two takes of those guys three. Takes seven. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And the others Noted. take four. Wah. Cool. I got it. Anything else? Are you holding the line? Are they moved? Oh. Does uh, that? That's what does the small? Do the smaller? The smaller guy gets pushed back. Ten feet. Yeah. Do you really want that? Pushed. On a. Let's see. Bold I'm assuming the ogres, are the, the ogre guys, the ogres are too big for me to push back. I'm, I'm thinking. They're not. Oh, no. Oh. Can push a large creature with a level two spell, I would say. Whoops, he's not moved, but uh, he succeeds. We'll say he goes back to here. And this one goes back to there, I guess. They're all piled on top of one another right here, so... And don't yeah. forget that's the, uh, those are all at disadvantage for those pushes. They were, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The one awesome. guy... Um, so... Oh, the one the in front one. is the one that succeeded, so... The one in front is staying. Oh. Um, I forgot how these were arranged. This gets weird a little bit. He was up... We were, we I think... That guy was upright with us. Right? You're right. Yeah. Okay. And this guy got pushed back to there. That looks good. Okay. Mm. And he was there. Or yeah, he will he will go to here. Boom. Alright. You cast all these undead creatures back with that thunder wave. Anything else? Yay. <clears throat> um nope. cool. Um so also nether you hear and, and um, sort of this loud, intense crunching sound from, or Doll at least does, hears like very heavy footsteps. And that's um, all that, that Doll reports to you. You hear that in the back Concerning. of your head. Concerning. Sarayan. Okay, so Sarayan brave, brave Sarayan has uh, got around the corner and now having had a moment to kind of collect herself, take a breath, um, she realizes that this is not what Persona would want her to do. Uh, and it is part of her duty as a Triton and as a follower of Persona to protect the people who live on land. And so she takes a deep breath she gets ready, and she heads back over next to, or right behind, I guess I can't split those two spots, but I'm imagining they're making a triangle. Um, <laughs> she's next to uh, Prion and Talise. Mm -hmm. And um, she will actually push through the two of them to take a swing with wave. Okay, stepping into your ally's space, you will be attacking with disadvantage and you will have to leave the space or give advantage for all your enemies um, on both you and the ally's space you are squeezing into. 
You know, what's so funny about that is that means I'm not going to do it. Um, and so <laughs> instead I will throw my javelin. Cool. From where I currently stand. 12 is going to hit. Okay. Um, and that would count as a melee attack. Correct. Incorrect. You threw it, so it's a ranged Ooh. attack. Um, okay, but it's an attack action still, right? It is. Yeah, you can throw. So I could throw it again. <laughs> well, you could throw another one. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna throw another one. <laughs> okay, do it. Okay. Uh, bloop. Twenty. Okay. This creature has so many weapons sticking out of it, and now it has two more sticking out of it. Um, You're welcome. Feeling some good damage, though. Prion. Um, your lack flies in, as we've no longer got advantage on it. Uh, I attack with a 17. Thank God yes, for that. sir. For 10 damage. Uh huh. I attack again for another 17 for 13 damage. You fell the big, fat, ugly ogre zombie. Nice. Woo, woo. Oh. And I help. <laughs> High five. So um, five. <laughs> I will say another now. Ah, that helps. Um, may I use my uh, held action then, Peter? Move them back up? Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, roll a d100. Um, this back and forth blindly has, we'll say, a 15% chance of going awry and going off in a different direction. So oh, if, the low wall. being the 15% chance, high being you're in the clear. You're in the oh, clear. Thank you yeah. for that, then. Like those and odds. All right, that uses the reaction from Dahl. And the ghasts sort of know what they're doing, so they're going to rush forward and mindlessly claw and bite at both uh, Sarayan and um, Prion. The one that strikes at Sarayan, I hit. I'll try you to hit. You need to uh, see it to take an attack of opportunity, right? Is it, is it, Do you mean Talese or Sarayan? Talese, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you, you have to see the attack, and if it's in darkness, then you wouldn't. Oh, okay. Talayan, both of us. It's our powerful Talayan. name. <laughs> I am. Doesn't say if I can see it. it. Says when a creature within I five foot of you makes Talayan. an attack against the target, other Talayan. than you, you could use your reaction to make a melee attack against the attacking creature. No, it doesn't say anything about being doesn't able to say see that it. Sight. I'd still get disadvantage oh. against it. Interesting. It's not an attack of opportunity. Ah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. That's cool. D and D Beyond, why you not? Why you not like it? Da 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 da. Fourteen to hit. That's a hit. Is it now? Thirteen slash. Ouchies. Nice. Is barely. <laughs> is barely holding on, and as it strides forward, it does um, strike a disadvantaged attack. Hits a 19 for Talise. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. A 12 points of slashing damage. Owie. And please make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Okay. So my Mac doesn't like doing disadvantage, so I'll just roll it at advantage, and we'll just take the lower one on that. A nine. You... Mm -hmm feel this creature's claws sink deep into your flesh and you your body locks up does our paladin have you any auras yet are no, paralyzed too low level. not at this level awesome you are paralyzed um and you said it was 17 mm -hmm. 17 damage 12. 12. Uh, the other one attacks Thanks disadvantage at cleric fine yeah you know uh, Priya, does 17 hit you? No. 
Oh, it was such a good disadvantage David's attack. Face. I got excited. Okay. Weakly. Boom. All right. Ogre zombie moves around in the darkness. Hits the wall. Ouch. Kind of, yeah. Where are you guys? I want to play. Guys, <laughs> where, where'd you go? Mariah. Um. Oh. Hey, uh. I will send out another haunting melody into the world. Let's target this boyo. Take life. my breath away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw for a level two. Uh, um, I almost put Misty Step in there. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, does it was the big guy you said? Yeah. No, uh, the rightmost uh, finger majigger. The rightmost ghoul in front of Prion, specifically. Okay. Wisdom save. Um, it is a it is a regular one. Wisdom. Aha. I have a 17. There's okay. One I uh, still matter. takes. Oh, oh, he's dead, dead. Okay. A dead, dead, dead. Much dead. Um, I'm going to hang tight. Yo. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to give. I'm going to uh, throw a, a bardic. Sorry. Yeah. I love that. Um, <laughs> You know what? No. <laughs> I actually think what came after. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna yell down the hall to Lee. Snap out of it. You're better than this. Have a part of inspiration. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Well, then, you're disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Captain um, slash mom is disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm Cap gonna mom. step up over here, um, and peek around the corner, and I'm as a bonus action, I'm gonna throw two my last two orbs of flaming ink into the darkness. I'm the I'm hoping to hit past far enough past uh, Talise and um Prion so that they don't get splashed. And I assume it's just going to hit this guy somewhere in like the chest region and splash okay. forward Help onto me. the other guy. What you cost it? Uh, the darkness. I... <laughs> uh, so I, I will need two darkness. separate um, dex saves from each of them, as they will both so, get hit. So, let's see. Yeah. Um. That is sort of weird. Um, I'm just wondering about uh, Doll's location and all this, but it should be fine if you're only casting it five feet in. So, okay, cool. Uh, two more. Regardless is going to kill this particular ghast. Also had one hit point left. They were brothers of single hit point. And this guy, let's see if he can succeed. He cannot. Five and a zero. So it will take full eight damage. Cool. Okay. As and um, I don't know whether it's up or down because it's still in the darkness. So I'm just gonna, again, take a shot with the fire bolts and hope I hit something. Um, this time it'll be at disadvantage, correct? Because it's not squeezing. Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage. Uh, Twelve. Hits. Wow. Another eleven points of fire. Ooh, very good. Burning it away. You smell, you smell that the scent of mm. the flesh just burning off, cauterizing away this creature. Yum. <laughs> and that ends the minute meteors. Those, are, those were the last two. So that'll be my. I'll step back around the corner, yeah. and that'll be meteors? my turn. Heather, it's your turn. All right, I'm, I'm going to use my bonus action to move Doll again. Um, this time. Instead of having her go straight back, I'm worried about that crunching noise. I'm going to have her go to the side, going to the left side there, right into the corner. Okay. Uh, this is going to be increasingly difficult every time you tell it to move blindly in a direction. Um, 
in complete darkness. Uh, go ahead and roll a d100. 20% chance. Kind of okay. goes a little bit awry. Slash D, no, slash R, D, 100. I've rolled an 89, All even right. better than before. So you said the right or the left? I said to the left. To the left, to the left, all Everybody goes here. Ah. Step to the left. And the statue is nowhere to be found. Uh -oh. That son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Doll stole it. Give me a drink. Son of a bitch! God damn it, doll. <laughs> Give me a drink! We have to herd this fucking cow through a maze. But now we can just oh, ask it to walk on the boat. Um. Come here, uh, Coco! Nether's going to fire a um a couple of Eldritch Blasts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eldritch Blasts. Uh, disadvantage, she cannot see. So, kaboom goes the one. Oh. I hit AC 20. Yeah. For eight points of force damage. Uh -huh. And then, with the second one coming forth, I hit AC 15 for 7 points of force damage. Okay, nice. 15 total. And then like Doll is going, to to hold, is going to hold its action until it gets the call from Prion again. An expat who moved to Missouri City. <laughs> hey, no kidding, I was like, hmm, what's happening here? I'm it's always messing with my axioms, trying to find <laughs> always messing with interesting my things to do because I've got a lot of people. To In lease. your brain? That's right. <laughs> Fear enough. I, I, I'm Might. paralyzed. <laughs> you are. You, at the end of your turn, paralyzed, you can um, try to shake off the paralyzation. Shake it off. Shake it off. Is part of bardic inspiration. <laughs> you do. You can choose to use it after you roll, but yeah, you can roll first. Advantage, regardless. You just cannot. Use you should it roll. After I declare it being a success or failure. So. so it's ten. You succeed you can, in shaking you, okay. off the thing. So sorry, oh, so I just, DC damn 10. it! <laughs> I, I said. I had to, anyway, I did that wrong. Got a little excited there, Peter. <laughs> I did. Oops. I was like, huh? You just said it's the thing you role. said you weren't going to say. I know. Why, why do you say the things that you weren't going to say? Anyway, you What's hear, going a, on, Peter? You hear a really you loud, so really loud stomping coming down the hallway here. No. Jesus. Who's that? God. <laughs> Who hears the really loud stomping? Uh, Mariah and Melvin. Look. Oh, dear. What? <laughs> Who hears it? It's behind Me? you. My damn Wi-Fi. Ah, tits. Serian. It me. Um, let's see. It's a me. <laughs> it's a me, Serian. Um, doesn't really roll off the tongue as well as Mario. So. It's a me, it's a me Mariah. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually push my way it's through me, these Mariah. two. Jabronis, um, love you guys, and then I'm gonna hit with wave. Do it. Get wrecked. Do it. <laughs> oh, that was twenty-eight. That, that sweet, sweet critical, almost. I know. V close. Uh, twenty-eight. <laughs> and <That> then, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I'm gonna extra attack it with the same little doodly bop. What kind of damage? Oh, 14 and 12. Amazing. Yeah. Do oh, wait. From wave. You know what's super fun that I'm going to do now? What? <laughs> I'm going to cast some divine favor because it is a bonus action as long as that's allowed. Okay. What, um, does, what do? does that do? So it... Ooh empowers me with a divine radiance and I realize that I probably cannot apply this to this turn and that is okay. Um, until the spell ends, my weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit. Mm -hmm. That was a good thing to remember at the beginning of turns, indeed. Yeah, um, so you know what? But I'm, I'm gonna do it this time. Me. Why not, you know? But you get really radiant. Shiny! I know, she's like glowing and if you guys... 
if you want to know about this glow up, cast divine radiance on yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. Bye. Wow. Uh, you look completely the same to me. Persona is just an MLM okay, nether. scheme. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh he god. said it. Oh, he DM, said I told it. you that in confidence. I told you to be cool. Saran drives like a blue SUV that just says Persona on the side of it. Thank Only John. because you want to she, has like 20, this? she has 20 team members all selling Persona. <laughs> anyway. Um... Persona. 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 I have ear lack. Always... The same. Okay, sorry. Because you're worth it. <laughs> For 24 to hit. Let Hits. Persona into your life. <laughs> 13 slash in. Kills it. Yeah. And then I find... There's a like my jokes in there. I'm very 15, excited. 20, 25. What do I see? You don't You don't see anything. You can see about the same as Mariah. Um, I don't think the darkness goes through the wall. It doesn't. <laughs> no. Unless there's a secret door there that's open. Secret door. <laughs> Oh, here is secret a secret door. door. Can I hold an action to attack it? You cannot hold your action because you already started your attack action. Okay. I will stand there at the ready. Alrighty. No ghasts left. No ogres left. Mariah. Hmm. Still on initiative, huh? Yep. That's just delicious. You remember that Sauce. time that the amber golem came around the corner after having yeah. run? Yeah, you remember I that? Yeah. do. I do remember that. Didn't distinctly. something happen? Didn't someone like die? Um, you know what's weird is that yeah. I don't remember that. Um, I got cursed stomped, and then and then and then Liz died for me. So, yeah. You're welcome. That's exactly what this game needs. Yeah. Oh boy. Save the uh, who's feeling really shitty right now in terms of uh, me. hit points? That's a personal it question. Sarayan. It me. Sarayan, you like legit I'm have no hit points? I think the I'm walls 14. are the shittiest part of this. Uh, okay, I'm going to back up to here, I think. And I'm going to cast a second level healing word on Saran. Okay. Uh, have thank seven you. points of healing. Oh my god, thank you so much. And then I... Can, can I use an action to drink a potion even though it only requires a bonus action? That's a that's a MEDM homebrew rule that you you can use a bonus action to oh, take a potion. Oh, sorry, I'm getting my games confused. That's so fine. it is totally an action. Fine. People don't realize how generous that homebrew rule is. I get more, really more credit for it. Yeah. I don't. I was gonna okay. say, wait, isn't that an action? Well, I'm gonna drink my own potion of healing because I am not in a good way right now. Uh, wow, right. that is a well. It, it's better than nothing. All right, uh, and that's uh, that's my turn. I'm gonna keep a keep a lookout over here. Gotcha. Um, cool. Nether. I was just hear the sound of swords fighting. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I did. I that was weird. Skewed the wrong audio track. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Boss music. Yay! All right. That's not good. Nether. 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 Um. <laughs> Further. So, Doll is going to still be in darkness in the other room. Nether is going to. Hmm. No one's looked around that corner yet. Not all the way up. Heather's not going to. Nope. <laughs> she can run over a minute and be like, we're good! Come on <laughs> back. Um, Don't trust her. Uh, Nether is going to hold an action to attack when she hears Prion engage with something. Holding an action to attack Prion, got it. Yep. 
Talise. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, well, that sounds great. Oh, that sounds even better. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. This is an Eldritch Blast. <clears throat> oh, I really was hoping broke. that we were just gonna be done with that. Damn. I mean, you could just be done. You could sit down and short rest. Yeah, that's yeah. cross applesauce. Tempting. You could start a short rest. You Combat's over. Training. I declare it. <laughs> I know. The I initiative declare. tracker says otherwise. I I declare it. it. Ah. Thank you. Oh God. Oh Lordy Please day. No. <laughs> what you doing, Talish? Oh, crying in the corner. I, okay, <laughs> sounds like an action to me. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna drink a healing potion. That's what okay. I'm gonna do. Go I'm for gonna it. Scooch a little back towards the group and drink my potion. Boop, boop, boop. boop I say. Boop. You're on your own, Breon. Alrighty. Drink a potion. <laughs> All right, roll it. <gasps> Thundering around chonker. the corner is a. Minotaur living crystal statue. Oh, like balls. You still have your reaction available, Prion? Sorry, you have no. Um, yeah, I can't hear you. Yeah, I, I think I need polar mastery for that to work. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah, I made a mistake before. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, well, no, you were holding an action that time, that was you? Correct, yes. Yeah, you were. So, so it worked. Um, yes. So it will run around the corner. It will lower its head and try to gore you first. The 10 to hit. Um, hits. And then uh, 24 with its great axe. Yes, that uh, is. I was going to jump in here, maybe. Okay. Can, can, can I cut in words that shit? Or yeah, I mean yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I haven't rolled okay. damage. Okay, I, I yeah. knew twenty four hit Prion already, so you're not. Yeah, you're not at yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it give it a try. Uh, I'm tired and you suck. <laughs> you do. Is that Elena speaking, or is that <laughs> is that Mariah? It's not going to do anything. It's not high 21 enough. Twenty-one. I tried. Prion. A shield. Oh. Okay. You My still have your spell. action left. All right. Gotcha. Does this proc another's held action? Yes. All right. Eldritch blast at disadvantage. I am going to yeah. I'm going to just roll disadvantage. Kadoom! I have hit AC 18 for 9 Hits. points of force damage. Very effective, in fact. Ooh, yeah, cool. Um, your rest, it's just so dumb, but you get all of your blasts as a warlock because it just comes out as a bunch of things oh. simultaneously. I don't think that's dumb at all. On this side of the table. Um, hitting AC 15 just hits. 10 points of force damage. Ooh, that's a big old blast, too. The force damage seems Chunk. very effective. <clears throat> Much better on this attack than on the other ones. I should try blindness all the time. A moment of peace comes, and you think, okay, we're good, we're done. And then you hear stomping, and you hear um, attacks from around the corner. There's more work to be done. Work, work. This. Work, work. Work, work. Theresa might jump up on that one. Okay, but so... Work, work. Work, work. Beep, boop, bop. Beep, boop, bop. Uh, Sarayan moves as close as she can to the source of the noise. I found the source Eight, of the ticking. Five, ten. It's a pipe bomb. Oh my god, I love that. It's a pipe bomb. Let's see you can get at least this far. All right, so I'm going to get... With... Yeah. If she goes there, can she still attack it? She I can throw something at it, right? How, how many javelins do you have? Infinite. No, I don't know. 
Um, do I infinity javelins? I didn't... Have three. Okay, so then when they, but didn't that creature die? It did. They don't just but... pop back into your inventory. <laughs> no, I know, but wouldn't it be assumed that I would take them? We haven't had a chance yet. Yeah, mm. It's been not so fun. Throw, it you, drops. You, and you now do see four. You do see four in the bat on my back in a pouch. I'm going to take some of his. <laughs> nice. I mean, she's okay. technically standing behind me. I mean, I know I'm all right. In all combat. right. I don't know. I like it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Does, 23 I like hits. It. I like it. Like it. Come on. All right. I'm going to take another one. Uh-huh. Javelin thief. Throw it again. <laughs> Just absolutely crushing it with these javelins, do. Holy crap. <laughs> Your javelin damage. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's twenty-one Toto. All right, Toto. No big deal. Toto in Toto. So Rayan's like, you know, wave. I think I got this. Um, <laughs> it just, if you, do you want to go back to the pool? Anyway, anything. <laughs> he was just hang there. A javelin so Rayan, man. Do you also have oh a wait, spell going I do also have extra a spell. D4s? Mm hmm I do. All right, roll two D four. Beetle doodle doo boo. Hey. That's that's the uh, that's the radiance beat pops right there. <laughs> yeah, yep. boo, doo, boo, boo, doo, boo, boo. radiant damage. Extra six radiant damage. Crack and Ooh, done. Crack and dice. It's Prion's turn. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, do we sure? Right. Um, he didn't want those javelins. Earlat comes in again. Uh, for uh, 24 to hit. That hits. Wow. Five damage. As you hit it like that, it uses its reaction, and um, you've created sort of a gash in the all of the um, shards of crystal and whatever, and you see it just <laughs> flex hard, and the shards break and shatter out at you oh. like shrapnel. Uh you take 17 points of piercing damage. <laughs> wow. Not what I reflex when it or anything? Flexes. It's, it's his reaction to um, deal that to the attacker. 17, it is just yeah. the shards flying at you as you hit it with a melee weapon. For I'll take some my reason. reaction and go like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, save to then he's that like flexing. Anymore? Oh my god. And he's save. like built different. <laughs> To be uh, fair, it was a good roll. So. Twelve to hit, misses. Oh, I'm hurt. But <laughs> I stay. Yeah, I stay there. All right. Got hurt. I got hurt, guys. <laughs> Mariah. Uh, oh golly, golly G Williker. Uh. A strange melody coasts on the air and reverberates through its crystalline structure. Roll a wisdom save. <laughs> so, oh, come on. It's interesting because I'm just like, I, hmm. It can, uh, yeah, I mean, part of me makes me think that a construct would not be affected by this, but I don't see anything in the stat block to argue for it. Um, oh, the only the only type of creature that the spell says it definitely doesn't work on is a deafened creature. Yeah, it can hear. So. It can hear. All right, I'm making a wisdom save. Plus Magic. zero. I rolled a natural 18. I'm sorry. Well, wow. you still take uh, eight, eight points of psychic damage. So okay, which it's, it's not nothing. Takes. All right. Uh, I'm going to scoochie myself to there. Okay. Scoochie complete. Melvin. Scoocheroo. Well, well I'm, I'm hearing a bunch Dude, of clanking right. and, and sea shrapnel shards flying through the air, but I don't actually see what's causing them, so I'm going to scoot here to get, get a little bit of line of sight. And then you, you flip see a what's causing them. Get a fuck. Get to see what's causing them and immediately panic. Um, having Sounds like seen, an action to me. Yeah. Uh, no, no. 
<laughs> bonus action. <perhaps. laughs> and you're done. <laughs> um, I bonus will, action. I, That's some serious will, commitment. <laughs> I will, in my panic, use my final spell slot to cast magic missile at it. Um, and okay. just let loose with all of the, the little uh, quills of force that will streak toward it. Um, okay. And it's going to take one, two, and three. Uh, eight points of force damage. Eight points of force damage. Cool. It seems super effective. Great. Well, That's like the last time I can do that today. <laughs> It was super effective. And then I'm going to move. It was super um, effective. I've moved 5, 15, 20, 25, 30, I think, there. All right. Near there. Near there. <laughs> um, so <laughs> another um, mentally commands doll to um, put the... Uh, darkness shell away which immediately dissipates oh. as yep. doll is invisible and can now see um, and then she commands him on her bonus action to run to fly 40 feet around the corner okay um, and then she shoots two eldritch blasts at um, the uh, crystalline creature um, so she should be able to see now with Dahl with 40 feet. Does that get him there? 40 feet gets Dahl um, Not quite, here. doesn't it? Not quite. Yep. Rats. All right. Well, she'll still shoot this time at disadvantage. Does Dahl yes. you have a hmm? dash? Well, so this is a bonus action. Um, as uh, with um, the um, uh, feats I have taken Dahl the move invocations. Dahl her, do all of her speed is so the bonus action attack is just i think to use your action economy in order for your familiar to attack your i say your familiar can dash disengage do its full movement and that kind okay. of stuff um on its turn so if doll wanted so, to dash around the corner i think that'd be fine all right uh so it's technically not how it all works out but um, it does save time so we'll do it that way um okay so doll will then dash around dash fly around the corner um, get 80 feet around um, getting to five, ten, 15, I guess to here. Hovering over um, Saran there. Um, and then Daw, now that another can see, she will roll normally, hitting AC sixteen for five points of force damage. Mm -hmm. And <gasps> oh, oh man! Oh, that was on to a advantage though. Yeah, um, hitting, hitting AC 11. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my um, gifted inspiration on this. Okay. I've rolled a three for a total of 14. Won't quite do it. Damn. Then that is another uh, done with her turn. Okay. Talise. Hi. Um, I'm going to come up. Right. Mm, yeah, right behind Prion. And then I would like to cast Shatter. Oh, nice. yes. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Clutch third, spell. Third level Shatter. Using my last spell slot on that level, right behind. Okay. So that it only hits the construct thing. Uh -huh. And then. Can I do Destructive Wrath with that? Ah, of course. That's yes. what I would like to do. Gah! So All that would be... 32. So that's 4d8? 32 points of ah. thunder damage. Yes. Oh. Plus whatever that does to constructs. I. It, does it do anything else to constructs, or is it just... Uh, I thought it did. The, well, uh, so, something's well I don't know if it yes. does... So it would normally do, so it says um, inorganic material has disadvantage on a saving throw, but if I'm doing destructive wrath, is there even a saving throw? There's yes. still a saving throw, it just maxes damage. Okay. Keep reading that, it says something specifically about it's crystalline, about crystal, yeah. I believe. Yeah, crystal or metal has disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. It's a con save? 
A yeah. crystal. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh, saves were a 20 and an 8. <gasps> so... <laughs> nice. Good call. 4d8, please. 4d8. So just so four, four times 8. Thir- 32. Yeah. Yep, 32. Times. 32. I, I, it, it, sometimes, like, you feel like as a DM you're making stuff up, but it literally has exactly 32 hit points <gasps> left. <laughs> Thanks to all the force damage done to it and stuff. And so Talise comes around the corner and summons this um, this uh, explosive sort of circle of thunder. And it just, it, in front of you, Prion, just shatters into a thousand pieces falling on the ground. And what's kind of funny is it looks almost like the fake treasure hoard you saw before, um, just no. laying on the ground right there. No, 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 no. But what I mean is it, it this one isn't fake. Oh, but it okay. just looks like it, it after shattering, okay. it just looks laying there like a treasure hoard it of gold. can't possibly be real. Crystal. Okay. No, it is real. It's real. Oh, it is? Okay. So yes. uh, we're going to start. Like... <laughs> Take it. Stop. <laughs> Once we all get a breather here for a moment. I, I yeah. see them looting a lot. Mariah, there's one here. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, we can we can all take a moment to breathe and then i'm gonna find a broom <laughs> no i'm kidding um we're gonna sweep that shit into the uh, bag of holding enough to fill an empty bag of holding hey uh, empty oh, bag of holding that? melvin <laughs> what a yep. coincidence what how much enough well to fill enough to fill what is it five bag? cubic 500 pounds not exceeding 64 cubic feet See? That's how much it can hold. That's how much a bag of holding can hold. Yeah, it's about can, that much. I can additionally cast floating disc to carry another five hundred pounds of weight if there is more. Y'all, <laughs> we all right now. How much, Some of this yeah. is how much is it? Just it, it, in lot. in people that are simple like me, how much is that worth? Um, you think you're looking at another probably fifteen thousand. Nice. Um, what if we went back and collected some of the jade from that statue that we destroyed? Because jade's <laughs> kind of valuable too, right? Yeah, I am valuable. You know, my Is description specifically ground? destroyed it. <laughs> That's what I thought it was gone, gone. Yeah. Okay. So another 1,500? Yeah, they just robbed you guys. Thousand. Thousand. Oh, 15, thousand. 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 oh, okay. There's another zero that goes on there. Yeah. It's all right. Well, immense we can amount put all of, of treasure here. We can put all of that into the... The yeah. empty bag of holding. That's Sorry, crew, great. we only found a thousand gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. It's very paltry. Nether looks over at Saray. I were Mariah's first says, mate that day when you <laughs> wanted to run. Uh, oh, I, I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, it's all right. It was the smart thing to do. Oh, I, I don't know about that. A single tear <laughs> rolls down syringe. A she... single tear. Some blood just drips down. Not that uh, no, I know, it's like... it, but <laughs> it's no be sad uh... like Jack Donaghy with Liz Lemon with the broom. There, Don't there. Be Don't be sad. <laughs> there, there. Oh. Um, well, Prion, uh, how are you? Good feeling? fight, y'all. That was oh, exciting. That, huh? that yeah. was that. We, we did uh, well there with all of our limited resources and very low uh, hit points. I think if mm. Sarai hey, didn't hey, kill it, uh, if uh, Talise didn't kill it, then I would have gone down. If it would have hit. That's me. what I figured. Wait a gotcha. Well, we'll have some. Have some. Let me cure some wounds for you. Oh, thank you very kind. Very, very kind. It's not a lot. It's a five. Um, <laughs> I burned pretty so, much all my higher. Nether. Um, um, oh, sorry. Oh, I was gonna. I was just gonna say, could uh, could you send um, invisible doll just a really quick check if there's anything obviously exactly. threatening up here? Get out of my head. Um, <laughs> so uh, I was just about to say to the DM, um, if possible, doll is going to do a fly around the places we've been to make sure any of the uh, commotion that we've caused is not alerted any more undead. Um, there is utter silence throughout the winding way. Nothing to be seen, heard, or run from again. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, there uh, stands there with her head cocked to the side, clearly looking at other things. And then she turns to you, um, Mariah, and says, I think that's it. 
then I think that's our cue to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Did we want to Please. get out of this? The stuff? rain's already down the hallway. Yes. Oh. Um, how about we head back out into the not winding way portion of the basement for a little resty poo? Um, and then then we could come back for a ballista or two. Sounds good. Uh, are you muted, Sean? No. Am I? Oh. Why not take oh, it's, them it look. No, I didn't wait, hear you. Like your, your mouth was moving, but there was no sound. Why not take them all? <laughs> or take them all, yeah. But I mean, it. I, I don't know. It's a great as question. long as a resty poo is part of what we're taking. <laughs> well, I think the other thing that we need to do is assess um, if you, if you what the situation the up is top is. is. You just don't um, look like a diminutive in Italian, you know, you had like <laughs> yes. Ina, Etta, Poo to anything. <laughs> so, the only problem I have with checking the stuff that's up on top is that they, we know that there's people up there. Well, it not right now. Let's, I'm, I'm saying we should rest, and then I think it might be worth our while to assess the situation of what's going on up there to know whether there's any other bullshit we need to do. Because, like, if there's any other conflicts that are breaking out, if our boat is still there, things like that. Um, because I feel like once we deal with all any and all potential threats, we might be given some leeway to just say, we get the ballista. <laughs> Good call. Like, as long as there aren't any other things to deal with, that we might have some irony. room. We've got all this treasure and the boat is gone. <laughs> We're just like, well, don't don't jinx it. <laughs> sit around on the beach, wearing crowns. Well, at least we've got our own island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds um, like the life for me. I don't know. It it does look like as long as we can like detach the ballistas, I should be able to move them for us. It will just take time, so it's dependent on how much time we have. Mm -hmm. They don't look like they're super heavy. Out of curiosity, DM. Is there a max capacity on Pixie's Fury for how many weapons it can hold? Well, you would be able to... Um, there are... There are basically two weapon mounts. Oh. Um, so you could go could for a modification more. or go for, you know something um the sort of um attach them all to one to one <laughs> string the main deck <laughs> is not super suitable for a mount that's more of a or for a ballista that's more of a um better spot for like a mangonel or a um more long distance weapon but it doesn't mean they're useless or worthless so okay. you're stripping this place to the bone Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yep. All right. Look, Just stealing all, right. all of Umberly's treasure and loading it onto your ship. Gotcha. Got I wonder if we can sucks. like carve the bas relief off of the walls <laughs> and like <laughs> take them with us too. <laughs> Get, get we'll a, heat to an gun, and a heat gun and just strip that plaster <laughs> just to take it down. and then we can rebuild it on salt marsh and it can be like the cloisters <laughs> no just for okay someone's got to be interested in a moving bar relief right uh, I mean, I'm interested in a moving bar relief, relief. yeah there's probably uh, hit me up with that yeah uh, someone could oh. study the technique for moving like we'll, we'll set it up We'll get some Ooh. artists in there. Someone can study the technique for creating it. It'll be like a museum, a school, a we gift totally shop. Totally do that too. <laughs> artists are crazy. They'd be like, yeah, they "Oh, it's would." Good. Yeah, totally. Just speaking my language. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how we all retire: is we're going to establish a museum slash art school slash gift shop <laughs> on the mainland <laughs> slash interactive. Yes. Yes. There needs to interactive be like maze. <laughs> Yeah, have there be like oh, a children's man. museum <laughs> component as well. So there's always some money flow. You guys... Oh my god, children's museums are so fun. I know, and you can get money from them. They're so interactive. You guys are just you guys are just like the British Empire rolling through the world, <laughs> taking everyone's <laughs> religious artifacts back home and making museums. <laughs> Hashtag mine now. Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, have you got a flag? Uh, Jade? <laughs> <laughs> Where is your like flag? flag. Good, good scrub. Oh they brought a flag. <laughs> It's good. Okay, we'll no deal flag, with no above country. ground below so, next time. Let's take we'll... a short rest. <laughs> Not in okay. the winding way. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Um, Before we take our short rest, just on our way out, I'd like to go take a look at one of the ballistas that we saw that had been deactivated. Yeah. Um, And just make sure I know how to detach it from the floor, if that's possible, and just sort of like figure out the logistics of moving it for after our rest. Yeah. I mean, that's... With with 20 minutes of time, you can do that. Um, I was just making sure I didn't need to make a check before the end of the session. For no, that. if you're taking... Cool. If, if you're not trying to do it in the course of you know, a very short span of time, you're, you're fine. It's... it's um, awesome. When you have time to look over it, it's not that difficult. Um, it is just a regular ballista that was rigged to pull on a string when the door opened. Um, it's got wheels. It's loaded still. Oh, but, ooh, yeah. sweet. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Even better. So there you go. Yeah, Good job, cool. guys. Um, this will um, also push you guys on to level six. <gasps> oh, yes! Boop, 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 boop. That's so yeah. exciting. I get so many spells. I know. Nice. Level six is a good level for everyone. Um, so. But this was a uh, this was kind of a marathon through heroes. It's tough, tough stuff. Nobody used the amulet. So I thought about it. <laughs> Melvin's hanging on to it. Yeah. Um, well, could you have? Could he have been like, "We belong here," and they would all have been like, "I'm oh, sorry, you motel." No. Sorry. motel. That's, Actually, that's yes. not what it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, really? If he had worn it prominently <laughs> and like acted as if he were the leader all of the undead below oh, I, here would okay. have just yeah. ignored him that wouldn't have happened with melvin though <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's not a very but seriously person. it's it's like a you have to like put it on and wear it and be like yeah i'm umberly's leader now down here and the undead will just be like oh so <laughs> tap yeah that's oh, oh I, um, I get the uh, joke you have now with the guy. <laughs> so for the no, I'll, I'll ask about leveling later. Never mind. Anyway. About what? So we're well, we're short resting and we're leveling. And are we gonna leave upstairs for next week? Are we gonna chill pants here, or are we doing anything else? What's the what's the situation? Um, okay, you're asking your crew. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm asking we should, you. We should rest before we go out. <laughs> Yes, right. we're resting. The, the, yeah. I guess the question was for the session today. Yeah. Do, do we... No, we'll, we'll just end it at the rest. Um, okay. okay, great. That's yeah. what I wasn't sure about. I hate to be a boring Betsy, but... <laughs> yeah, Super boring. so the... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll end it here. Um, the... It's going to be more social discovery stuff probably when you emerge so um and it, it are do you want to try to take a long rest here or are you thinking mm, short don't short know. okay gotcha yeah. Short rest, yeah long rest on the boat yeah long rest on the boat cool well we'll deal with all of that next time um next time when you if assuming you're heading back to salt marsh with all this gold mm, all this gold um, stop it stop it now <laughs> No, don't. Uh, so good. We'll do some. We'll assume that we have some downtime for next session. So um, okay. think about what you might like to do with like two weeks of downtime. And we will be strict oh, about if someone okay. wants to do the magic item stuff, um, it will take your full downtime to barter and, you know, do all that kind right. of stuff and roll on the tables. Um, if you want to pay for that, if you want to talk about training a skill, doing that kind of stuff, or if there's other stuff that you think would be a long game sort of play in Salt Marsh, that is good, fine as well. Okay. Um, I know Nether has something that we were actually talking about doing previously. Would you be okay doing that on the return? Absolutely. Um, okay, cool. Understanding that it already happened retroactive. Retro like yeah, it happened. Yeah, the, like um, we, we had talked about it. We just then we took a sort of unexpected break, but Nether cool. um, had a um, interesting conversation before she left Salt Marsh. So that's okay. something cool, cool. That come up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, with that done, I think it's time to uh, close the book on this. Uh, close the book on level five. Close the book on the Isle of the Abbey for the most part. And